What's up gamers, Aaron Shaq here, and we are live on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And the reason I've done a live stream on this one is that I've actually grinded up to level 35 of the fear levels. And now we can actually do the mission that will unlock the Joker, the, the main focus, the main reason of playing Season 1 is to see the Joker, potentially a little bit more of the story or, or some enduring uh, gameplay, but I'm, I'm realizing that probably most of that is not going to happen. But nevertheless, I am excited to see the Joker and play as him and experience all of that. Um, so we shall see what we can do here. Um, let me see here. Let's do... Yeah, let's go straight into the action. Um, I think we might need to get our daily stuff from Aaron Cash. And then we can move forward. But yeah, I spent uh, at least maybe three or four hours last night. So I say it took somewhere between seven to nine hours to get to the point where I'm at to unlock Joker. Um, it was not fun. Just being completely honest. Um, as much as I enjoyed this game, I, I don't think this part is, is fun. So these are the strongholds. Where it's like Joker's multiverse has crashed into Metropolis. And you have like a, a brief little situation to sort out here. And it does this every time you load up the game. I So yeah, that's supposed to be it. They they pretty much said that that was in the game, but then they never, in, like the game never really introduces that to you. It never says, hey, this is a stronghold. But yeah, apparently that's what that is. Um, I had to look that up on the, uh, the Discord <laughs> for the game. All right, so here we go. Rescue uh, the Joker, level 40, 12th level threat. Finding and taking down another incredibly dangerous Brainiac body double don't hate it springing a joker seems like a real bad idea your orders are simple destroy brainiac's operations find his data vault kill him and retrieve the joker apply the data spike to brainiac and we'll have your prize though i still question your motives for extracting him waller he's a dangerous weapon that should be in our hands not brainiac's yeah that makes sense is it showing the green helicopter? Oh, there's a Riddler trophy there. I didn't even... That's interesting. So there's all new uh, Riddler trophies on the map. Uh, what's up, Acting Relic? So I had to get to level 35 of the fear levels. And I think that took me about 7 to 9 hours. Um, so if I go here... Like this. So, all these levels at the top where I unlock something, it's basically another battle pass. I don't understand why this isn't the free tier of the battle pass. But it's like its own separate thing that's that's slowly grind, grinding up. And now I'm trapped here. I accidentally opened this Nexus thing and you always have to listen to them rant. Okay, so yeah, and then the battle pass is its own separate thing, but this goes even slower. I mean, how many hours have I put in? Like seven to nine hours and I'm barely level at eight. And on the free track, the only things I've unlocked are 100 Luther coins, uh, a dead shot skin and this color for it. Yeah, and then it looks like I'm going to get the black and gold at level 10. But I don't know, that could be another 5 or 10 hours before I get to that. So, I mean, the battle pass is stupid long. And this, the the fear levels, this goes up to like 200 and something. I, I haven't even scrolled all the way. What is it? It probably is 250 or 200. Yeah, it goes up to 200. 
There's 200 levels of this free fear level thing, which you get about a level per mission. I don't know if it gets slower the further you get along. And you get weapons and gear for all characters, so I mean, it's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty good. I, I just wish they combined that with the free version of the Battle Pass, so it almost makes you think. It makes you think, even if it's not true... It makes you think that you're you're getting a lot for the free version. Whereas if you look here, it looks like I'm not getting a lot for the free version of the Battle Pass. <laughs> um, but I I also have enough uh, Lex coins to to buy the Battle Pass um, for every season because they did give us an apology pack uh, when the game came out and things were rough. And it was unplayable and stuff. So they gave us like two free tickets and 2,000 Lex coins. And now I just earned 100. And there's probably even more that I could earn through the Battle Pass. So, I mean, they've already said that, like, if you just play the game and do the Battle Pass, they'll even give you enough currency to pay for the Battle Pass that you just bought. So even if you bought it, you'll, you'll still get the Lex coins back which you could apply to potentially the next Battle Pass, if you need to. But right now, I have enough for all four seasons, which is the whole first year of the game. I already have enough currency, as long as I don't spend it on any skins. But I, I figure if I want to buy some, you know, some stuff from the store, I'll, I'll just use real money. I won't, you know, I'll, I'll buy Lex coins. I won't actually uh, spend the ones I already have. I'll, I'll keep those you know, assigned for, hey, this is my savings account. I'm going to spend this when each season hits. Um, because, yeah, I actually do want this suit because it's the bolo. This is a classic look from the comics um, where he had the trench coat and the bolo. So that I actually dig. There's not much else here that I'm excited about. And they actually got rid of a bunch of the costumes that were in the game at launch, so I don't know if those are ever coming back. So I don't know, that seems like kind of an L right there. Yeah, there is, I mean, I, I think there is plenty of grind, but it's uh, it's like, do you want to do it, though? Is, is the big question here. And I'm starting to come up, you know, I think I have a pretty good build already, but I'm, I'm seeing some tweaks that can be made. This is very much a critical hit, um, aerial type build where I want to stay in the air and stuff like that. What's up, Mr. Myers? Hey, man. I I remember we were talking about the left-handed mouse and all that. Um, I, I, I hope if you're able to use the controller work layout, if that helps you, um, yeah, just let me know, man. Because, I mean, I feel like that's the only thing I could point you to. Um, because I don't know, you, you really would, like, it's like with controllers, a lot of controllers nowadays come with software where you can tweak the layout from there, so you could literally do that, and some mouses let you do that, but not all of them, you know, some really fancy ones might have an app where they'll be like, oh yeah, you can map what each click does, you know, left click, right click, you know, all the extra fancy buttons and EPI settings and all that. What's up, Ice Man? Yeah, so I mean, hopefully that helps. If not, maybe, maybe there's options uh, of better mice or more mice. <laughs> I guess I gotta call it mice, right? Um, that's the plural of mouse, right? <laughs> maybe there are better mice that are more customizable. Hopefully. But I, I just don't have a lot of experience in that realm. I think I just... I, I bought the Logitech uh, G502, which is a right-handed mouse. And honestly, I've never wanted to upgrade since. I think I've had that since 2016, almost 10 years. It's almost been 10 years. Eight, eight years since we built the, the PC. Yeah, English plurals, especially when you're applying it to computer devices. You're like, mice? <laughs> <laughs> when you have multiple computer, you have more than one mouse for your computer, you have mice. You have computer mice. <laughs> Sounds like a viral infection. 
Alright, so we're gonna go rescue the Joker. Um, we're gonna go fight Brainiac. And I'm gonna stick with Deadshot. This is actually the new skin. Which I actually think is really dope. This actually does look really good. Oh, hang on. We got some civilians being... Okay, we saved them. You did a good thing. Do a lot more and you might be square one day. Oh, we got another one. Okay. See, with the sniper, dude, no way. Why are there so many of them? Yeah, if you see on the right side of the screen, it, the more of those we shoot down, the more opportunities we have to get a rare care package. Okay, we got a Green Lantern helicopter flying by. The Assassin Master. What do you mean? What are you talking about? A platinum from who? I'm not even sure which game you're talking about. Are you talking about this game? Or are you talking about Hitman? Because you're saying I'm, a, I'm an assassin? more deets yeah so the more airborne I stay and the more crits I get while I'm airborne uh, I think the better my build is Infused enemies. I'm not even sure what that means. Need to get Hitman 3. Mirage? Mirage? Oh, you're just now an Assassin's Creed Mirage? Okay. I mean, I basically 100%ed that game. I don't. But I did it on the Ubisoft app on PC, so I don't. I don't remember if they have achievements there. But I did pretty much 100% the game. I don't know if I got what would be all the achievements or whatever, but I just don't even pay attention. This game, I'm actually getting really close to pl uh, getting a plat, so I don't know. I might do it if I get... Like I said, I don't actively grind for plats, but like, if I get really close where it's like, oh, you need just, you know, these three simple things to get done, and then you'll have the plat, like, I'll do it. But I'm not looking for like bragging rights or I'm not like excited or, or chasing down platinums. I was also more of an Xbox player, so I was actually more grinding achievements on my Xbox than I was on PlayStation. But coincidentally, somehow I always had more platinums and more trophies in general than most of my PlayStation friends. It turns out a lot of them didn't play games as much as I did and so I was just like you guys like all you have is your PlayStation and I'm, I'm like dropping big numbers on you it, it was kind of wild where's the big boy where did he go I think he jumped off the side or he died? I don't know, maybe someone else killed him. You got a real frame of your first platinum? How does that work? Like, did you frame the game case or something? I've seen people doing uh, dark, what is it called? Dark boxes of the... Shadow boxes, sorry. Shadow boxes of like their 
their favorite games. They'll take like Vice City and put the case and the disc and the instruction manual or something and get it framed in a, a shadow box. Catching air time. I would be tempted to do that with too many games, so I wouldn't I wouldn't actually do that. <laughs> I would probably do it with everything and there wouldn't be enough room on my walls and then it would just, my house would look like a museum instead of a, uh, a home. Alright, here we are, moment of truth. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ready up. So yeah, level 35, going into this Joker mission. Let us show this next world our might. Green Lantern's light. The data vault is concealed, but a catastrophic overload across Brainiac's Forty minutes. Do 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 do. Task Force X. While the eggheads crack the data vault, I need you to destroy Terminal Production. They're barely on the vault. This work requires precision, Waller. Fudging the numbers will get us nowhere. Ask my predecessor. Multiply your force, Deadshot. That's the only thing that's annoying is that. Oh, okay, someone else got him. New target sighted. All right, let's go over here. Going airborne. Hmm. Let's take down the bug farm quick. I don't like the smell coming off that water. Those snipers, dude, they're they're so pesky. Inexcusable. Hustle before the crystals grow back. Caliber. 
on yet? Are we done yet? Like... Really? It's just like... Infinitely. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Incubator's vulnerable. I'm grounded. The electric shock uh, disables. Yep. And I keep getting hit by it. Okay. There it is. We got it. Yo, what's up, Evil Eyes? No, not yet. We're, we're literally doing it right now. This is the mission. Uh, to unlock Joker. Um, okay, so I think that's where I'm going next. Task Force X are tracking a little behind yeah, dude, it, it took me like seven to nine hours uh, to grind to fear level 35. I recommend doing Killing Time. That's the mission where you just do like infinite waves of enemies. Like, do that for a while until it gets really hard, and then extract before you run out of time or die. And if you do that, like, you'll, you'll level up, like, several times. Okay, come on. I tell you how to watch your sixes ahead, but I'd be wasting my breath. Crystal's locked down till we clear out the area. Eyes on the skies, Task Force X. Brainiac clearly doesn't want us here. Too bad. Okay, let's go over here. I do my own air support. Twitch taking damage. Ugh. So annoying. Guess I'm walking this off. Hustle before the crystals grow back. Focusing on boomerang. One regrew. Is it this one? Which one regrew? So annoying. Yeah. Wait. That one? I just did it though. Come on. Kill these assholes and get to the crystal. Oh my god. So which one now? That one regenerated. The first one. Dude, did it really? Now the second one. Fuck, dude. Let's tag and bag this incubator off. Alright. Take this incubator out! This is challenging, but man. You're 18, that's not bad. Yeah, it, I couldn't do it in one night. I was like, it's not that fun. <laughs> it's honestly not that fun. So uh, I was kind of glad that I spaced it out a little bit. Oh my god, I hope I don't have to kill the big guy. Regenerate. 
my damn calling card. Got okay, that wasn't bad. Crystals are building their asses back up. Okay, where's the next one? Over here. There we go. Okay. Now we're in. Well, well, I'm impressed. I want to see more of this, Task Force X. Now proceed to your next objective. All right. Find a boss. Hopefully. Okay. I think there was a Lex thing here. It might run out by the time I get to the fight. This is the new Elseworld. What's up, Connie Nerd? This is it. Uh, it's based on the Joker, and I believe we're fighting one of the Brainiac variants, uh, which should be using Green Lantern's uh, abilities. Lacy's. You were too late to stop what's happened here, Earthlings. And soon, it'll be too late for you. Yeah, it is. It is pretty much just a reskin of the uh, of the post-apocalypse Earth Two. You know, boosters engaged. I'm not a fan. my anomaly collection quite jealously including this world's he looks a little greener is he not am i crazy let's say his evil shall not oh my god my they sight. gave him john stewart's face <laughs> that looks so weird dude why that's so crazy okay all right we got a green lantern tank Am I about to get whooped? Like this might be <laughs> this might actually be hard, I don't know. Sending a transponder that can wipe all Brainiac construct shields. Wouldn't you have any real green lantern, but he isn't one. What is that? Why is that red like that? I don't know. Ah, there we go. Okay, counter shots. Oh, please, Task Force X. Offer me some challenge. The construct shielding on my units is a little above your level. Actually, a lot. This is my soul. What is that? Like this game is so visually overwhelming that like I'm like, what is that? Like <laughs> So it Oh it Okay, shields down. So now I gotta Okay, he's taking some hits. Hello? You make all your new outfits. Oh, I think it's shield back up. 
ready for a challenge? Uh, My. These troops have a condensed construct shield. Your ring-keating weapons just won't cut it. Okay, those mines have a little bigger explosion radius. This is all it took to defeat your green lantern. How embarrassing. Shit! Going for a high score! How does that earth thing say go? Step on the mine, blow up your spine. Hell divers. Alright! Constructs yeah, I think that's what it's gonna be every season be because I mean all the footage that they've shown like previously of like all the different Elseworlds is it it just looks like this this same region over and over again like it's, it's just gonna be that same post-apocalypse but they're gonna you know make it frosty for Mr. Freeze or, or them there's like one season where it's designed to look like Arkham Asylum and that actually looks pretty cool, but... Okay, his shield's down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me try hitting him with the fear sniper. Let's see what that does. A uh, decent chunk, but... See, the, the game is like so... Like, overloaded. Like, there's so many enemies all shooting me at the same time. So, like... I can't just sit here and unload on him like Destiny style, like you would in a boss fight in Destiny. Like there's there's constantly so many ads attacking. Like I'm always being sniped by something. I was trying so hard just to counter snipe that dude. Ship activate scouring beam. And now the mines, so dumb, but now the mines are, like, spawning on me. <laughs> I'm not complaining, it's just weird. It's an interesting boss fight, but I mean, the game is so, like, visually overwhelming that I'm just like... Yeah, see, you see that? Like, it's spawning, dude, it's spawning mines where, like, I can't even look. Okay. I'm picturing your defeat, Task Force X. He oh, looks more green. Because he was like super yellow in the original game. Maybe they heard our complaints? I don't know. I think I'll activate okay, he's not ready beam. for damage. Even though it says kill Brainiac. I don't know. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, just like the... A boss fight where you take out his construct. Safe zone? Okay. I miss smashing this construct shit. Another one down. Am I doing this right? Watch out for my laser, Task Force X. It just loves to give chase. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there it is. The constructs are breaking his shield. Okay, okay. Oh, it's right here. Right. I think we took out his shield. Is it gonna let us deal damage now? No, his shield, his shield's back up now. So what was the point of that whole phase? Your attacks will be blunted on my construct shielded soldiers. I'm gonna say. Yeah, like the flash fight was crazy. This feels even more overwhelming. Like they stuffed in so many enemies and they all have these new overshields that you gotta bust. And all of your all of your plane builds or, or whatever you had in season one, it's all all irrelevant now. So having to like do the new fear builds, which I'm excited to do. Don't get me wrong, but 
you know. It basically tells you like all the time you wasted, you know, grinding in season one. Or not season one, but what do we call vanilla <laughs> Suicide Squad? We can't call it season one. Because this is season one. Season zero? Pre season one? <laughs> Let's keep it going. Anyway. Yeah, the snipers. Like, there's so many of them, and it's like, I understand if I was in, like, co-op right now, but most of the time I'm playing so. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get out of the way of that. Okay. Are we... Is it damage time? Yeah. I better be paid after all this lantern shit. Maybe canonized. Dude, I see this is why you can't. Like I'm just tanking hits right now from everything in my peripheral. All right, we got him halfway ish. Maybe that's a better damage phase. I don't think there's any value in taking out those enemies. It's it's more important to go after the constructs. You won't even survive this encounter. How would you survive releasing Joker? Do I need a fresh shield already? How great you! Okay, it's damage time already. It's almost like the fight gets easier when there's more constructs. Oh, dude, he spawned a mine on me, dude. Like, seriously? The hacks? Okay, there we go. Good headshot. Green flashing... On the screen. Uh, there's like green enemies. A lot of the green constructs are related to lantern. The green um, shields on enemies kind of seem to be a thing for the season. What is this? I'm capturing this. Like, is there status here, or is it is it captured now? Oh, or do I stay in this zone? Damage constructs. Like, the game is always putting new objectives, but, like, once again, the game is so visually stimulating that it's like a lot of times they'll be like, you need to do this, and I'm like, well, where's the thing? Because there's, there's so many things that you want me to do, and there's so many things on screen consistently attacking. Okay, so. Okay, there's helicopters now. I didn't feel like I was that close to that mine. Okay, so I think we just capture these points and use the shield to, to pummel away at constructs. Like, I actually like the Green Lantern boss fight. This fight's actually really fun. But it is a little too much happening all at once. So I don't really get to enjoy, like, being a hero or feeling like a hero because it's just chaotic like I'm not getting the power trip necessarily even though I do feel powerful and doing things at the same time it's uh, I don't know okay so I think is this the last one? Uh, Come on. You really are gonna make me Oh okay. It's time to short your rod. Yeah, see how they have those green shields? That's that's kind of a new thing for the season. Alright, pumping up my shield. 
And maybe it has to do with this boss fight, and that's why they've introduced all oh, these enemies. I'm gonna get out of that red zone. Got a construct down. Man, you know you could have made okay, I, purple, think, right? I think we just need to focus on constructs. Shall I make you something to spar with? Hmm. That sounds entertaining. Constructs and the occasional healing. What is this? This is something Hack does. The shield is looking a bit lofty to Time for a few repairs. Oh, it's damage time. Ah, oh, dude, like... Okay, pretty solid damage phase, I'd say. Okay, not bad. Different lantern-related gear or outfits? That would be cool, yeah. Yeah, because, like, dude, think how awesome he would look in a Green Lantern outfit. And he was the one that killed Green Lantern. So, like, it, it makes sense that each character had various looks and outfits taken on, like, which character was their nemesis, right? Like, everybody had a costume they could wear. Like, when Boomerang killed the Flash, it was like, it made sense to wear his costume. When King Shark kills Superman, it makes sense that he wears, like, everyone had their nemesis. Well, Harley Quinn wore Wonder Woman's, even though Batman is more her nemesis. But, I mean, we have to admit that Deadshot looks cooler with Batman's gear. Yeah, so it's just weird that nobody got a Green Lantern outfit. Like, huge missed opportunity there. I mean, maybe it's in their, in their plans or in the works, or, or maybe they're listening to player feedback on that one. I don't know if they are. Because, you know, the devs are so radio silent on this game. It's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get down here and do something. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it took a lot of direct hits there. This could be it. Can I fly in? Can I do the missile thing? Yep. <laughs> Did we just kill him? Oh, he... He just... Okay, so it cut me off. It cut me off when I was about to get him. See, look. See? Dude, it's spawning mines inside of me. Fair enough if you want to spawn him near me, but like in me? Sir. Why do you want this joker? I've seen his DNA, his mind. Twisted and rotten. I like how they all turn yellow before they explode. That's like they're succumbing to fear each of the constructs what else to shoot so I see some constructs he's bringing up his missiles come on Oh, okay. It's a less risky way to polarize the shields, but uh, there's not. Are you winning? What? Sending a construct overload. What? You cower from me, but embrace Dude, this come on. They're they're turning this I into like a a prolonged battle here. It's like, come on. We already like I could have had him in that phase, but they like they brought his shields back up for no reason. Where is he? 
Okay, there he is. You even trying here, Brainiac? I got no shield, or I got no uh, jetpack. There it is. We got him. Multiple anomalies are always so vexed. Maybe it's the lighting, but I think he's more green than yellow. He was kind of yellowish in the main game. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's awesome. Of course, I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm glad you can confirm I'm not crazy. Because I was like. It, he really does look more green. I was like, maybe it's just the lighting? Maybe it's just the Green Lantern effect in the area? I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, indeed. Helldivers is great, man. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying that game. What's up, Michelle and Kong? Oh yeah, I missed you guys. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's such a visually overwhelming experience here um, that like I'll look at chat and I'll see something and then I'll see that I miss like 20 messages because <laughs> it's like this fight is it's so involved consistently. And I, I get maybe with four players it would be a thrill, but for one it's like it's, it's just like very over overstimulating. Whereas, like, the Arkham games, you could have, like, 40 enemies on screen and, like, I felt like a master, you know, a master martial artist, you know, and I, I was like, yeah, I can handle it. But I think with Arkham Knight, there were too many different enemy types that it, it also became overstimulating in some ways. Uh, let's see, second iteration in recruiting Joker of the Squad. Mastery levels are now available for all incursions. You can replay the Mayhem mission to earn powerful, notorious, and Scarecrow infamy set rewards. Okay. Every new mastery level completed in Incursion will be added to your fear rank, and additional mastery levels can be unlocked by completing the highest available in three of the six Incursions. Okay. Your episode progress. I got five level ups? That's crazy. New Mastery Level 3. Infamy set, the Poison Mine Tier 1 is now unlocked. Okay. Let's see what we get. Purple? Pinkish? Okay. This piece wants attention. And it's gonna get some. Well, hell. Always wanted one of these. Ooh, balance stack deck. Inner gang sniper rifle. Nice, nice, nice. All in one mission crew. Floyd. Ooh, look at that. God bless. Look at the designs on some of these guns are actually really cool. Y'all can look at this piece, but don't touch. Fingerprints. What is this? Dr. Poison's Maru 2 injector. Look at the design of this. This is what the game needs more of. So many of the guns in the in the game look so bland and samey because literally all they are is like color swaps or or whatever. Like this this is cool. This looks like something, you know, villains would use. Like Mr. Freeze has his freeze gun with all the freeze canisters, you know, a poison guy would have all these like tubes and 
and test tubes and bottles and canisters of green, you know, goo and acid and whatever. Yeah, like that looks cool. This was made for a pro. Good thing I'm handling it. Custom arrangement. Yeah, I've, I've been getting this a lot. This lucky mind. charm is pretty cool. Uh, wants attention. And it's Newtonian mechanics. This is a Joker mod. Okay, so we're getting stuff for this Joker. This real super villain shit. I'll Modern take it. application. Okay, so let's look at the the perks here. All right, so this is for hack. Uh, okay, this is a Joker mod here. Okay, uh, probably a good start for Joker, right? Um, this one's cool. When you kill a poisoned enemy, there's a hundred percent chance your damage to afflicted enemies is increased by 110% for 30 seconds. It can stack up to three times. Yeah, that could get a little crazy. Uh, Two Faces Fickle Fate. I think I'm using this. Yeah, I am. Um, critical hit kills either increase your damage dealt by 100% or increase your damage reduction by 15% for 30 seconds. This can stack up to three times per effect. So since my build for Deadshot is a crit build, it, it just makes sense for now. Okay, so let's see what the big deal is with this. Um, okay. Enemies hit with this firearm become poisoned. Alt fire if we hold triangle. Shoot Maru poison that deals 250% increased damage to poisoned enemies. Critical hits on poisoned enemies makes them shield harvestable. And killing a poisoned enemy has a 30% chance to spread the poison to enemies within 10 meters. Shield harvesting, regenerate 20% Maru poison resource. Mmm. 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 That might get me to either... I might dump the sniper for this. Either dump the sniper or, or dump um, precise combo meal. Which I've been using this for a while, dude. This LexCorp assault rifle is really good. And as you can see, critical counters with this weapon generate 50x combo. Like, that's so powerful for my build. And it gets me to where, like, I can instantly do the, um, what is it, the suicide takedowns. Those are really cool. And those, the suicide takedowns not only kill enemies oftentimes, because they're like, you know, the the takedown in the Batman games. It's kind of the same thing. Um, but they also generate shields. So that's cool. Uh, prismatic burst. Okay, what's this? So this is hole-in-one mission critical. Zoomed in critical hits with this weapon. Put the enemy hit in slow motion. Okay, that's cool. With most guns, with most guns, it'll be like, this gun does zero damage, but we'll put them in slow motion. So actually, this is a W. That's actually a win right there. Uh, okay, balance stack deck. Firearm damage is reduced by 50%, but each successive hit on an enemy with this firearm causes it to take 30% more damage from all sources for 10 seconds up to a maximum of 750%. That could be good. Could be good. Reduced by 50%. I don't know. Okay. So you rise above your many limitations. That's not very nice, King Shark. All right, let's see what's up here. Don't blow this for us, man. <laughs> just tell you wait we don't shoot these guys here oh okay that's on me <laughs> oh christ christ mandy baby is that you oh i'm so glad you're alive shut I... it it was a gamble adding you to this task force x and i'm sick of your bullshit already <laughs> so i guess you'll fit right in Damn. Keep him in line. What? Who me? Put it in me. 
What? Mate, bloody hell. How'd you have to say that? Now you've just made it weird. <sighs> How? Hell no. Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. <laughs> Come on, dead shot. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sharko, you want to have a go this time? Uh, my hands are too large. We sure about this, Director? <laughs> oh, this brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Ah, here we go. They're all dead. <sighs> what a tragedy. What a heartbreaker. The sprays of blood, the smell of singed hair, the viscera. Oh, the viscera. Hmm. I'd definitely do it differently this time around. Cleaner. He took. Well, congratulations, Task Force X. It took you all of 20 seconds to lose control of them. Hey, hey, hey. Don't misunderstand me here. It's crazy. I my team because I truly cared about them. And even though I've only just gotten to know you guys, I care about you that much, too. <gasps> Colonel Flagg, lock him up. For the record, I hate this. Oh, is it too much? Making new friends after a move is always tough. Oh, this is much more accommodating than other cells I've been in. Is that real cinder block? Five stars. Wow. Okay. You know, my sister always wanted to be a mom. Here, Lawton. Something for you to finally put those skills to good use. Oh, yeah. Give me a blue. Resources. A lot of rewards for good behavior. Okay. <laughs> so I got a bunch of blank messages for some reason. I wanted to be alone. Okay. So is he unlocked now? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so. Weapon types are pistols, shotguns, and assault rifles. Okay. And it looks like he's got a crowbar. Yeah. Albeit modified with a hammer and some, some chompers. Not bad. Pretty good start. Okay. Um... Okay, so they gave him a street sweeper. I think. Let's think here. Critical hit chance, consecutive critical hits. Oh yeah, we had some new guns, right? Um, I cannot find it. Uh, let's see who voices Joker. I'm not sure if they have him credited yet. He sounds familiar. I feel like I know who it is, but I want to see if there's a confirmation here. Yeah, I don't think IMDB doesn't have anything. What's up, Red and Marvel?
I, has nobody like stepped forward? I mean, usually when something new comes out, like the Joker will. Someone's saying it's Nolan North. I don't think it's Troy Baker. I don't think it's Troy Baker. Is it Nolan North? We we're gonna have to listen more careful carefully. Is it? Because Nolan North is kind of sneaky, dude. Because, well, he he's voice Penguin. I mean, he's he's voice characters that like you don't think Nolan North is capable of voicing. Because we're we're always used to hearing Nolan North do the Nathan Drake voice for pretty much everybody. Huh. You know, it could be. Kill the Justice League. I don't know. I don't know if that's Nolan North, though. Oh no, someone's saying here it's J.P. Karliak? Uh, let's see. American actor and comedian. Let's see what the IMDB says here. Yeah, we might... Oh, dude. I think he's playing Morph in uh, X-Men 97. Yep. In Family Guy... Additional voices in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Additional voices in Spider-Man 2. Yeah, this might be like his big break or something. Adler Kemp in Starfield. I don't even remember who that is. Um, Cartel Droid number 2 in Star Wars The Bad Batch. Um... Hmm, yeah, I don't really... You know who he sounded like to me? He sounded like, um... He sounded like the guy who voices Handsome Jack in the Borderlands games. That's kind of who I thought it might be at first. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So far, it's not bad. I think we need to play some more to, to see how his Joker sounds. Morph? Morph was literally in the first episode of, of the 90s X-Men. Morph is the guy who can, like, transform into other people. He's a shapeshifter. Yeah, so if you watch the original uh, 90s series before doing into 97, which is what I'm doing now, I'm catching up on it. Pretty cool. Yeah, I get the Handsome Jack vibes, man. That's that's what I'm picking up on. Um, I think... Where is that new gun? Forgot. I don't know if I... I haven't favored it. There's no way I could favor it yet. Let's see. Wasn't it a pink weapon? Oh, no, no, it wasn't. Okay, it's a hole-in-one mission critical. But enemies in slow motion. I don't know if I want to use that, though. Rate of fire is 90. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't started X-Men 97 because I wanted to watch, like, the original stuff first. I was like, wait a minute. That... <laughs> they wouldn't have Nolan North voicing, like... And Nolan North was actually Superman in this game. He actually did a pretty good job. I I would have never called him for Superman or even Tony Stark, but somehow he's done it, man. I think he's done all right. Maybe we could try this Merlin's Blinding Shot. Or give him a Breath Taker. That's also a possibility. 
But I mean, this this blinding shot actually can trade up to five targets and have 75% increased critical hit chance. Two consecutive critical hits on an enemy reduces the damage that enemy deals by 90% for 30 seconds. That could be really cool. Um... For this, I either want to give him a shotgun or a uh, auto rifle. I don't know how I felt about Bizarro's death ray. I I couldn't really get a feel for that. Yeah, and we gave the master punch bowl to King Shark. Um. Yeah, there's so many of these that like don't do damage. Yeah, it deals no damage to grunts, but it's great for brutes. That's actually an okay one, but. I don't like weapons that are only good in a very specific use case. Yeah, pretty much Morph can, yeah, and, and Mystique can do the same thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not digging this outfit. It definitely looks like... This looks like something you would equip on your character in Fortnite. You know, as successful as that game is, I, I don't like some of the style decisions. Um, this one could be cool to try out, Eagle Mission Critical. This is the gun I'm using on uh, Deadshot. This was, I think I had, yeah, I think I was using this one. Previously for Deadshot for a little while. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe that one wasn't it. Zoomed in. Critical hits. 791. That one's 859. Yeah, I need to... I need to do some cleaning house here on the guns. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think that's my best assault rifle for now. Let's give him that. And he's got the crowbar... Wait, what does it do? Each second spent swooping, which I don't know what swooping is yet. We got to learn. Uh, makes your next melee attack do 50% more damage up to a maximum of 500%. Oh, uh, okay. So we got to learn more of the character here before we get into that. I mean, maybe I should have looked at his skill tree before equipping stuff, but whatever. You know, let's just get a, a bare bones approach here. Grenade does no damage. Not interested. 50% chance the explosion propels up to five, three, or sorry, three additional polka, polka dots out of the explosion that turn, in turn explode into glorious polka dot fashion. Each explosion has a 50% chance to apply. Okay, let's try that because, and we're going to have to get rid of Diablo Blaze because they pretty much nerfed fire. Yeah, Mr. Sinister. neat Mr. Sinister <laughs> a very weird looking villain like he's trying to look all metal and demonic and 80s fashion okay so we're starting out with two faces fickle fate which I actually I'm, I'm Dig it. Yeah, I definitely need to... Dude, I'm almost full. The vault's almost full. God bless, man. Okay, so I could do the hack two-piece bonus. What does that... What does that give us? Is it... Okay, here we go. Traversal attacks do 50% less damage, but have a 100% chance to make all enemies hit harvestable. Suicide strike gi kills give you unlimited firearm ammo for 7 seconds. Yeah, Joker does have a Wayne Tech outfit, and I, I kind of hate it, dude. I, I think the only one that has a cool... Wayne Tech outfit is actually Deadshot. Like, that one looks cool, and it makes sense. But, like, why does everyone else need one? It, it just looks weird. Like, to me, it just doesn't fit. Uh, 
Uh, I kind of want to change this. I don't know what I want to give him. Maybe the Scarecrow stuff. But this has damage to burning enemies. 25% more damage up to a max of 250%. Uh, and gain 10% squad ultimate resource each second. Your health and shield have been full. Uh, affliction, you're not immune to damage. Eh. I don't know. Let's just stick with what we have for right now. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We need to level this guy up anyway, right? Let's see if we can bump you up to worlds number two, assassin. Okay, so for Joker... This is actually cool. They actually gave us 10 levels for free. I was worried we were going to have to, like, really grind. So this gets us... Because, uh, like, 30 is the, the max level, right? So, I mean, that's like a, a third of the way. Uh, Prankster activates at combo 5x and higher. It increases firearm damage by 20%, and counters have a 50% chance to make the enemy shield harvestable. Okay. Watch the video. Oh, Joker cards. Joker cards pop. And then confetti footprints. Okay. It shows that anyway. After you buy it, I should have just bought it. Um, let's see. Playing to the crowd. Melee damage is increased by 10% for each enemy within 10 meters up to a maximum of 100%. Maximum of 100%. Uh, could be good. Yeah. I'll take it from here. Combo 5x and higher. Shield harvest damage is increased by 20% and shield pickup amounts increased by 20%. Uh, melee hits have a 25% chance to cause enemies to burn. But... Burn is, like, nerfed this season, so I, I'm going to go with playing to the crowd. Uh, classic misdirection. Every five combo increases melee damage by 5%. And damage dealt to enemies further than 10 meters by 5%. Okay, fair enough. Uh, once more with feeling... Increases melee knockback by 100%, but melee cooldown increased by one second. Uh, increases grenade damage by 10% and grenade explosion radius by 25%. Melee kills cause all enemies when fi within 5 meters to burn. I, I think it's hard to say how's the DLC right now, because I, I feel like it's just started. I did have to grind 35 levels to unlock the boss fight to defeat Brainiac, uh, Green Lantern Brainiac, and just now unlock Joker. So I feel like it's just starting, but I had to play like seven to nine hours just to do this. So it was a nasty grind of just playing incursion missions and, and doing the killing time mission over and over. So I will say it's not a good start for this season. Uh, if we're being completely honest. But I, I, yeah, the first impressions were not good. But now I feel like we can really get to a point where we can have some conversations. I'm going to go with the grenade damage for now. Um, suicide strike. Joker spawns two additional grenade ammo if the enemy dies from the ability. Okay see what it looks like okay that's actually really cool can we watch that again i i like that above it all increases damage reduction by 20 percent while gl gliding or swooping okay killing burning enemies with firearms has a 30 percent chance to spawn grenade ammo Decreases gliding while aiming and swooping costs by 25%. Image reduction decreases gliding while aiming and swooping costs. So basically what that means, I think if I'm understanding this right, it means you'll be in the air longer so you can shoot enemies more. 
I, I feel like that's a, a better idea right now. You can always go back and change these. These are, you know, you just press triangle and edit your talents. So, I mean, none of this is permanent. I'm just really trying to figure out, like, where do I want to be from the start? And what's good for... Hmm. Uh... Combo 10x and higher critical hits with assault rifles have a 35% chance to not consume any ammo. Uh, that's pretty good. Critical hits with pistols cause enemies to deal 20% less damage. Critical hits with shotguns on enemies within 5 meters cause them to burn. I'm, I'm a really an assault rifle guy in this game. If I can use it with any of the characters, I, I usually will. Uh, seven to nine hours just to get to this point. Definitely willing away at that slowly. I'm not grinding for a seven to nine hour session. That's insane. I like this game, but it's not worthy of that type of session. Yeah. Um, I think it just dropped for a minute, but I think we're good now. I'm not sure what is going on there. It should be good now, though. So everything's reading perfect. Um... So, what was I saying? Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and granted, there there are like some people that have found like exploits or different things you can do to sort of uh, make that grind a little slower. Like there's some missions you could do that take about a minute or two and get you a level up. But I felt like killing time was the best because I could jump in there for like, I don't know, I, I never counted how long I was in there, but I, I feel like 10 to 15 minutes, and I would go up like 5 to 10 levels-ish. But I mean, it, it's still, you know, in between that and like taking little breaks and going through my inventory and swapping out loadouts and leveling up perks, you know, like just playing the game. And even some of it, I was live streaming it. And, you know, live streaming games takes longer to play through than it does to... You know, when you're just sitting on the couch, you know, playing in the dark on your own, like you, you can bash through games really quick. But when you're live streaming, it's like you're talking to chat, you're, you know, looking at things, you're, you're distracted by like a million different things. You're ultimate multitasking here. And in general, gameplay just goes slower because you're not skipping dialogue. You know, you're stopping to read things out loud to chat. None of it's a bad thing. It's just how I like to stream. <laughs> but it does. It does make things take a little longer. Uh, knock Knock activates a combo 10x and higher. Increases melee damage by 25%. And performing a shield harvest has a 20% chance to spawn a live grenade at the enemy's feet. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. This is melee damage by 25%. So we see the ha-has pop up. And that means I should do a shield harvest. The knock knocks and the ha ha's. Okay. In flight entertainment, uh, combo tanks and higher enemy kills while airborne generate 5% razzle dazzle traversal attack resource. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a trend with all the characters in the game that. They want you to be airborne with pretty much everybody, so. Okay. Crowd pleaser hitting three or more enemies with a grenade generates five combo. This can only happen once every ten seconds. Uh, critical counters have a 50% chance to spawn grenade ammo. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have grenade ammo. I'd rather be spamming grenades like that. And getting them back, like, quicker. Yeah, Black Myth Wukong looks really good. Uh, that's being developed by a Chinese studio. I don't know what you mean by Ezra. He, he's not in this game. I don't know. I have no idea what you mean by that. Uh, 2% XP. Don't know... Yeah, we'll put it up to 2%. How about that? Was that 2%? Yeah. 
Is this going up 0.5 at a time? Yeah, so I might spec heavier into the assault rifle since I seem to like that a lot. No, Rise of the Ronin's really great. Uh, that's Team Ninja. So I consider it like apples and oranges. They're they're both great. There's no need to compare. <laughs> if they're fun, they're fun. Not not every game needs to be a competition. Not everything needs to be comparing player counts and Metacritic scores and Rotten Tomato scores and all these. It's stupid. Just enjoy the games you enjoy. Play what you want to play. Don't play what you don't want to play. Right? Like, people get obsessed. They, like, hate playthrough games. That's that's insane. <laughs> that's, like, mentally unstable. Uh, okay, let's see where our level up is now. Okay, we're actually getting close to unlocking this one. The black and gold. Or gray and gold. Just a little bit of black. Yeah, okay. So that's free. Yeah, see, this is the Harley Quinn. Like, this... I thought they were, dude, I looked at this and I, my first thought was like, are they adding Supergirl? And then I like looked and I was like, oh, it's obviously Harley. But like just seeing the blue and red, I was like, wait a minute, are they doing like some sort of weird Supergirl? Like, and I was like, why are they doing this for all the characters? Like for some people it works and I don't get why he needs camo. Why does he need woodland camo? We're, we're in Metropolis. In a post-apocalyptic wasteland. And same with the Joker. Like, this... This looks like something you would unlock in Fortnite. Like, this is not... Of all the cool things you could do. Like, give us the killing joke... Uh, Joker's outfit. You know, with the hat. Or the... Or the tropical shirt. You know? Like, you know, come up with some unique things like that. Let's see what we have looks-wise. Um, okay, so nothing... Riddler challenges, and then two color swatches are purchasable in the store. Um, I have this for watching on Twitch. Uh, this was like a Twitch drop. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I really like that. Yeah, and even his regular outfit looks like a Fortnite outfit. It, it's just not. Ooh, the glowing eyes are kind of creepy. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, even his default outfit, like, this, this looks like 1800s gesture wear. Like, it doesn't, this looks like something he would wear in Paris. Like, this is not, it doesn't fit like modern day Joker here. It's not the vibe. What can I do for you, killer? How's the clan doing? Oh, we got... Got some challenges done, okay. Okay, alright. We're, we're all slowly getting back into the game. Um, okay. Is there anything else we need to do? I think we're all clear to, like, jump in. So how do I play as Joker now? Come on! Don't leave your best weapon locked away! Break glass. Enlisted. I turn off the auto equip gear. I don't like that. Um. Gizmo. How's that dribble? But he's not on the. Which character thing? Do we have to like talk to somebody to unlock this guy? Or do I just go outside? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's I I'm not even I'm not even gonna judge anyone because like I know the game has been like like multiplayer was full of lag. There were bugs and glitches and all sorts of problems with the game. And it wasn't fun to play. And the end game was very repetitive. Oh, the squad menu. If that's the only way to switch to him, that's that really sucks. Any exploding ride you can crawl so that means we got to talk to him. 
swap character. Okay, so now I have to decide who do I not want. My boomerang isn't high enough level, and really neither is King Shark. Did I just level up? Oh, boomerang's in the cell now. That's weird. That's weird. Um... I don't think we just leveled Considering up. Considering your noodle chemistry, no. I promise this will... Okay, we're good. Don't worry. Um, but notice this, guys. Notice this. Look at this. So, here's our four main characters, right? Like, King Shark, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Boomerang. So, like, Joker is probably going to get a locker here somewhere. But, like, look at all these extra lockers. I wonder if that means that they're planning for eight more characters. Like, that would be pretty good. Like, Marvel's Avengers had 11 characters by the time the game was done. Um, if this game could have 12, that, that would be pretty dope. I don't know if this game's gonna survive a year, though. Not with the way this launched. Um, and not with the way uh, Season 1 is going right now. He's a little scrawny. But I mean that kind of kind of tracks. Okay, so RB does the umbrella. We can double jump. Okay, wait. That's his double jump. What is that? So, LB does this, like, weird rocket. Umbrella. And then you press X to get out of that. Oh, there it is! That's the surfing. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like a tutorial would have made sense for this. Okay, so let me see... Hang on, let's try something. I, I want to get some air here. Okay, so... This, then hold X. And of course it's filling up the bar. And then you do that. And then you glide some more. Then LB... What? I'm in single player! What do you mean connection lock? <laughs> oh my god, dude. What does that mean? If we got eight more. Oh, for being in the Arkham universe? I, I do see that a lot of people don't... It's weird, like... A lot of people are saying that, like, on Twitter. They'll be like... They'll be like, if this wasn't in the Arkham universe, it'd be so much better. But would they really play it? Would they really? Because, I mean, you're still killing the Justice League. It's a wildly unpopular decision. It's very controversial, right? I'm not sure. It's It seems like a catch-22 there. Oh no, I hope there's not an issue here. Is there server maintenance or something? Maybe that's what's up. Server maintenance. Suicide squad. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Uh, 4am Pacific 
April 2nd. Well, it's not 4 a.m. Pacific. It Because that would be uh, like 6 a.m. my time. That's like six hours away. Okay, I'm going to close the game and restart. This is going to put a damper on things if, they're, if it's locking me out of the game right now. Yeah, I am on PlayStation. I have it on PC, but I... The game does not run well on PC. It's not very well optimized. I doubt I could stream it on PC. I might be able to play it, but... Probably not stream it. It's run pretty well on here, though. Yikes. Uh, is it coming up? Okay, okay. Okay, Joker's there. Okay, everything looks normal. I don't know, maybe we just broke the game for a second. Okay, this is weird. So, let's read this tweet. And, and you guys try to tell me what this means because I don't know what it means. It says, This week, Waller's hatched up some new digs for the squad coming your way following our scheduled maintenance of Suicide Squad. Beginning at 4 a.m. Pacific, April 2nd. What does that mean? New digs for the squad. Like, that sounds like a new go, base or, go, or new... Brainiac's do something. Another round and he's going fun like, house on us. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Oh, the damage to my ship is largely cosmetic. Some failures in my empathy simulation sector. And there's the last. Obsolete anyway. No why he shows up here. Outfits? Digs? Yeah, maybe it is outfits. Why don't they just give us the old outfits? The old outfits that we already had, right? That were already in the store that are now gone. Okay, th this pistol slaps. Holy crap. Dude, this pistol. Holy crap. This is Merlin's, and it's got an arrow on the side. I actually didn't notice that. Yeah, look at that. It's got a little arrow. Got one of Merlin's. Dark Archer. I'm not sure. Does that hype anyone up? Does anybody want to? Mmm, so excited. It's like, what if the outfits suck? The only one I want for Joker is, uh... Is this one with the bolo. So how much is this? Not telling me. Oh, it's a thousand, okay. I don't understand what these three different items are. I mean, it looks like we're buying some mascara and lipstick. And then of course we're getting the shirt, and then I guess this is the color scheme? Okay, so there's a standard version, there's an epic version, which would include this green color. Oh, actually, doesn't look terrible. And then you got the pink version. Or the legendary version, which includes everything, but then you get a cell shaded shader. I could pass on that. Uh, a purple decked out umbrella. That's $24, dude. That's... 
I don't know. I don't like the game that much. <laughs> people would be angry about a new Batman game, right? Yeah, it's everything. I mean, people would be mad if the Arkham series were continuing with or without Kevin Conroy. People would be, a new Batman game would not survive. Even Ar if, if Arkham Asylum came out in the current climate of how we debate video games and how we talk about them, it would get destroyed by critics. It'd be destroyed by players. They'd be like, oh, why doesn't he have the rebirth suit with the gold trim? Why doesn't he have the white eyes? Oh, I don't like that Nolan North voice is Batman. Like, you know, like it would just, it would get ripped to shreds, dude. Nobody would. And, and then with the woke police coming after every game, or sometimes the developers ending up being the woke ones, depending on how it is, sometimes it's the audience is woke, sometimes it's the devs. I, I throw that term around very lightly, though, but it happens on occasion. Um, wait, he has like a Batman doll. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, let's play the game. Uh, we got the polka dot grenades, we gotta try that out. Let's see, um, oh, now, now we got the, the Riddler things. Now those are starting to show up, finally. Okay, and we do have a Riddler trophy right over here. Let's go grab that. Let's see if we can grab that. Yeah, and people hating on Spider-Man too. I was like, dude, it's, that's like game of the year, man. Like, it's, it's really good, you know? I think my pick for game of the year was a little different, but I I I absolutely believe that Spider-Man deserves to be on that list, right? But I was more for Alan Wake too. That's that's kind of my jam. But, you know, Spidey's up there. He's great. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to his traversal and there's It's a it's a three round burst pistol. Not to brag, but this is so typical of me. Nice job, killers. You terminated the thing like champs. Yeah, and then it's like you tap X while you're wall running to to boost. Like that. And then of course you hold Okay, so it's kinda like King Shark. Like, you know a King Shark, you hold LB, and then you jump to, to do, like, a straight vertical? That's what this is. I was worried though. His animations are really fun. How's this for an entrance? I'm still like trying to learn how does it all tie together. That's a drag. Uh. <laughs> Getting shocked. Data cache. Okay, we'll do a smash and grab, why not? Our enemies attempt reinforcement. Sharpshooters. Don't give them easy target. I I don't I I believe a Batman game could be better than this, but what if what if Rock stays ready to move on and what if what if they're just tired of making games that are Batman Arkham? Like what if they're just tired of reusing that same combat system and that game design philosophy and the way arkham knight ended it, it really left things at a good wholesome ending where it's like this universe can just be done right or it could blow up into something bigger they could have introduced various members of the justice league and made a justice league game but they kind of did this which is like 
not what the fans want. If we're being honest, the fans did not want a Suicide Squad game. I, I can't, I can't think of anyone that wants one, right? Like, is anyone really a fan of the Suicide Squad? Like, I wanted a Superman game. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to do something different. I wanted them to take the knowledge of how they made one of the best Batman games and one of the best superhero games ever and apply that to finally giving Superman the best game he's ever had. Because Batman had shit games for a long time. He had a couple bangers here and there, but nothing on the level of Arkham Asylum. And the way game criticism works today, I, th I think people would eat a Batman game alive. Because they're doing it with Spider-Man 2. Um, they did it with this. They did it with Avengers. Even though, if we just if we just sum up Avengers with just the storyline. If you just play the storyline and enjoy playing the characters in a single player context. If we just review the game based on that. Like, that's actually pretty good. Hard to argue with. But there were multiplayer issues, there were optimization bugs, there was, you know, miscommunication with developers. There were a lot of problems, but that comes with the end game. And this game is also having end game problems, even though they actually prepared and preempted a lot of the end game issues. There's just not a lot here. It's an Anthem problem. Except they had more foresight than Anthem did, but they're kind of in the same they they put themselves in the same box. I think that too, Evil Eyes. I, I think that's why this... I think they had designed Metropolis and they were making a Superman game and WB kept shooting them down and then they said, you need to make a live service game. And they're like, well, we can't make a live service game. You know, we need guns. You know, we need the looter shooter angle. So we need guns. So we can't, you know, we can't have Batman and Superman shooting each other with guns or whatever, you know, or shooting bad guys with guns. So it's like, okay, we got to have the villains then. So what do we do? Okay, Suicide Squad. Like, I think that's how it went along. You know, that's that's just my theory. It's not true, right? Like, it's not confirmed. It's just my own little conspiracy theory in my head. Because that's what it looks like to me, just putting the pieces together. Yeah. Yeah, I was open to it too, comic nerd. I, I agree with that. I, I think I like Avengers better. I think it's more playable. Avengers has a better combat system that I really enjoy. But this game has a bigger open world that's more interesting to be in. But Avengers was really cool because we were globetrotting to different environments. That's kind of cool. They both benefit from multiplayer, sure. Yeah. I really like Avengers more. But this game does have gorgeous graphics. It has fun gameplay. Um, yes, and Acting Relic. We talked about this on the latest episode of the podcast. And it's a great point that I agree with. It's making a single player studio do a live service game. Now maybe, let's, let's imagine. Maybe this is Rocksteady's choice. Maybe this is exactly what they wanted to do. You know? Maybe this is exactly the game what they wanted to make. What if that's benefit of the doubt? What if that's exactly what they wanted to do? They're just not built for it. Neither was Crystal. Crystal Dynamics was not, you know, they did all right. They gave it their best shot. But, I mean, live service games are really hard to make. Bungie's been at it for 10 years. Warframe's been at it even longer. It ain't easy. What's up, Junie? How you doing? I do feel like a doofus, yeah. I did I did buy the collector's edition of this game uh twice. I bought it here and I bought it on PC. More smooth and open world, sure. But would if Avengers was just based in New York, would you have been happy with that? Cause I, I try to tell myself, I'm like, maybe? But like it's so cool when Avengers travel around the world. And same with the X-Men, if, if you make an X-Men game, you know, do you just want it to be in San Francisco or something? Or, or would you rather that they, you know, travel the world and encounter mutants and 
and and get into battles all over the world, you know? Because the Avengers are kind of the, the globe-trotting, you know, superhero team, you know? More areas to explore, but with as much depth as, you know, a, uh, a map like uh, Arkham... That's how I can't even say it. I was trying to say Arkham City, but honestly, Gotham City or Metropolis. Like, I'm trying to figure out if it's better to hold the trigger or to pull it every time. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Okay, there it is. Get those shields. Yeah, I gotta get used to the traversal. I feel like I needed... I would have liked the tutorial almost. I'm on a killing spree. There we go. If you want this knowledge so badly, this is ultimate. Is that it? What did it do? I'm so visually overstimulated. <laughs> what did it even do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let me do it again. You just gotta... That's actually pretty, pretty good way to, to increase your verticality here. Oh, th is that the polka dot grenade? <laughs> that was cool. Man, what if playing as Joker actually redeems everything that's bad about this season? I don't know. Part of the city, and more of the U New York wilderness, maybe. Yeah, so if they included New York and, like, the surrounding countryside or something. But, I mean, look at Spider-Man 2. It, it barely includes all of, uh, all of that, you know? It, you know, in the first game, they didn't even have Brooklyn, like, whatever it may be. Emertech Grenade. Um, I don't, purple stuff kind of sucks, right? Like, I don't think we even want to keep that. I need to do a inventory clean. Yeah, because I don't think any of these... Like, there's better perks on the yellow and the pink and... Yeah, like, all these other ones have, like, cool intrinsic abilities. So, I mean, just having grenades like that is kind of stupid. Um, and even these purples are not... I don't know. We got to find some gear. That okay, that actually shredded that thing really quick. Out there saving lives. I'm still not getting used to it. Look how he just like chaotically flips. Whoa, I'm falling! Is your plan to build a coalition of whoever you find hiding under a rock on my conquered earths? He did a thing. Yeah, there it is. How do I do that? Where he like hangs from the umbrella by his foot. Oh, you just have to touch the ground. Yeah, and then you bounce off. Okay, that actually. You gotta add some flair here. Add some flair here. 
It would have been a different game if it was just New York. Yeah, it would have been cool. More map variations. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that game needed in order to survive, but you know, it w one of the key issues was it when Wakanda came out, that was like the Taken King for Destiny. That's like your big moment to turn things around. And as cool as that expansion was, and I, I was telling all my friends, I was like, this is the moment to get into this game. Like, this is really cool. Like, they dropped a raid. They dropped, you know, one of the most popular characters in the MCU. You know, he's already had successful movies. He's already starred in the Avengers by this time. Um, so everyone's, like, really familiar with Black Panther. And, you know, people just played the DLC, beat it, put the game on the shelf, you know? If that. Some people didn't even return for the, the Wakanda. No or for end. Wakanda. He doesn't have a dive bomb. You have to, like, wait for him to, to dive bomb manually. Okay, there's supposed to be a... a Riddler trophy here, probably under here, right? Maybe. Can't change it now. Yeah. Any Believe me, I was pulling for it, man. We've uh, we've played Avengers almost every Thursday for like the longest time. And I, I still enjoy playing it, but there are some... Did you see that little dance he did? See that little, like, bit of footwork he did? That was cute. times can I do that? Oh, okay, it's it's on cooldown now. So I can't do the boost jump. Oh. I still gotta get used to his movement, but... He might be the most fun character to move around as. Like, everyone else has a lot of, like, limitations on their movement. Like, everyone has, like, these cooldown bars that take forever to regenerate. But, like, with Joker, it feels like he doesn't have any of those issues. Like, I never feel like I'm out of traversal moves. I can always switch from this to the glider to that. And move forward really quickly. And then just do that. And, of course, you know... You just combo into stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Riddler trophy. Um, Evil Eyes, let me know if you are, uh, if you want to jump in. I'm, I'm game to do whatever. You know, if you're still trying to unlock Joker, I can help you grind those missions. Uh, cause I just want to level up Joker. I just want to play around. And I also want to see if multiplayer runs good now, because uh, it hasn't been great. Our experience initially was not great. I'm still trying to decide. I, I want to buy that skin. But I also, I just, I don't feel like, you know, like, I feel like, when a game's really good, you want to support it. Like, Avengers, I had no problem buying skins for that game. I really enjoyed it. Um, but do I want to give this game money? Or more money than I've already given it? And I do have their apology pack here of 2100 here now. And of course, if I play the Battle Pass, I can get more. Let me see if Evil Eyes is still on. Because I think I saw him. I think I saw him on the thing. Yeah, look at this guy. He's doing... He's doing fear missions. 
You were, oh, you, comic nerd, do you know about the apology pack? That's when they gave us 2,000 uh, Lex coins. Um, because the the server issues and the uh, um, did I do that right? The server. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I gotta make it a joinable session. Yeah. Yeah, we can mix it up, dude. Let's see what we can do. I I might be a bit of a punk. I might be going down like crazy. We'll see. Cause my Joker ain't level. <laughs> Yeah, and if you didn't log on in time, because you have to go to the terminal in the Hall of Justice where, where the messages are to redeem them, if you haven't played in like 30 to 60 days, it might already wipe those messages out of the system. So yeah, you might need to go check those and redeem them if you haven't already. Or maybe you have, and maybe you just didn't notice you have the Lex coins uh, in your inventory. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, the apology pack. That's what I call it, man. There's a lot of games have to do the apology pack, where they're like, we're sorry, things are not running great. Day one, week one, whatever it is. Yeah, I think they did it pretty early, well, within the first week or so that the game was out. Joker Kana. Yeah, check it. Yeah, he's he's got some really cool animations. Like, he spreads his legs, he kicks his heels together. Like, he does he does all sorts of wacky things that you kind of expect the Joker to do. It's, it's crazy, it's chaotic, it's comedic, it's theatrical. See, that's so cool. See, Rocksteady, they, they got the flair for, like, animations and combat design. They're, they're some of the best at what they do in that sense, but... Maybe it's just the concept of this game that's kind of a miss in some ways. I enjoy this game, but it's uh, it's taken a turn. I really enjoyed the main campaign, but I'm not feeling, I'm not digging the idea that they've pretty much given up on telling us more of the story. Like, if they thought that one cutscene was enough story to justify this, they're definitely wrong on that. He's mealing the story out like that. Didn't work for Avengers. So it's it's definitely not gonna work here. Yeah, see you could do that twice in a row. I'm not sure. I guess you have to land before you can do it again. But then you could also like transition into a glide or something. I mean, yeah, there's ways to like chain it together. Yeah, the rival time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, the rival taunts are, are definitely a vibe. And because I don't play this game much, I, I feel like I'm always getting... Everyone's always throwing shade at me. That's streamer life. I, I don't have time to play one game. I gotta play all of them. I think they also buff these things. Those terminals, the red ones, I'm having a hard time killing those now. Even even with Deadshot. Like, they have a lot of health now. I think that's an update. I think they had to change that. Had to have. Try the auto rifle. Yeah, I don't feel like it's doing any damage. I miss. I need to get lower. 
Shoot that crit. Yep. Out of storage. I'm ready to make something of my service to Brainiac. Covering fire. I don't know what my highest combo is with Joker yet. Okay, evil eyes is. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at his King Shark. He looks vicious. How do I. How do I emote? I don't even remember. Oh, here we go. That's it. Keep your quartermaster happy, and it's gonna pay off for you. Well, that doesn't look right, guys. He's got the King Shark dice. What is this? Alright, we got the high five. Bees knees. Yep. Woo. <laughs> I've honestly never done these emotes with. Oh boy, someone needs a raise. Dude, and he's got the sickles. I haven't completed my studies of Joker's aberrancy. Well, I'll resume them soon enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's find something, because we got to level up, guys. Episode rank warning. Some players in your squad are dangerously below. Wait, what level is... What level are you? Can I see that? Social? I don't think it shows me. Like, I can't even... View... Now, view profile doesn't... Yeah, I might need to know your level. 28? Uh... It says evenly matched, but it also says some players are dangerously below. I don't know if they mean me. <laughs> I mean, maybe they mean me, because I'm playing as Joker. Um... Okay, let's just do this. This is nearby, right? We, we can try an incursion, but I just... Let's do a trial run here. And see if we can do this. It's, it's still giving us the warning here. It might be like, hey, your Joker's too low level. But that, that would be dumb. Like, if I couldn't play the Fear Season as the new character you introduced for the new season... Like they're like, oh, you can't play this guy until you level him up. Well, it's like, well, why, why bother? Dealing some damage. Microwave is ready. This is the end for you. In the zone. King Shark. Okay. I was like, is he, is, is Evil Eyes overly visually stimulated that he doesn't know where the objective is? Because that happens to me all the time. Like, all the time. Lucky to have avoided that blast. Oh, we got a big boss. Where'd he go? Oh, I miss. We're doing all right. We we could try an incursion after this. It's almost in game. We'll just see what happens. If we get stomped, we get stomped. You know, it is what it is. Oh my God! I impaled him with the with the umbrella. That was crazy. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I don't know. Trying to see. There it is. All my replay features. Fireworks on my screen. I'm trying to, yeah, I guess I gotta hover in. Dude, this is like a Kusaragama. 
shot. You can just whoop everybody. Wait, that was a Terminot. They give you damage multipliers. What does this do? Okay, a bunch of explosions. Okay. Okay, alright. It's actually dope. Cleared out the map last I was on. There's so many new missions. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I think um, the new season did bring in some new stuff. Some of it, some of it, I feel like is is kind of fun. A lot of it's very repetitive, but I, I think killing time is really great. Honestly, I've enjoyed like running that solo. It's it's like horde mode, you know. Oh, I'm gonna get in the safe zone. I think that's all of them. We had way too many charges. <laughs> 47 out of 20. That's that crazy. Quite the decoy, TFX. How's it feel to be as useful as a wooden duck? Yeah, dude, killing it. Look at this guy. Shark, you're squad leader now. Ferocious. You may now address me as Mr. King Shark. <laughs> Look at Joker throwing a tantrum in the back. The Brutes, they're crazy powerful. They are. They are, dude. They have they have multiple health bars. They have multiple health bars. Balanced Killer Elite. Neural Chip Modulator. Go you! Don't let anyone box you in and trap you in the harbor. Okay, let me look at the talent Let's see if we can't Let's make your head a happier place for the rest Combo of the Combo 10x higher damage dealt increased by 25% on enemies that are below 50% health. Successful counter generate 10% razzle dazzle traversal attack research. I mean, we do counters a lot, right? Or would you go with the extra damage? Because combo 10x, that's probably not hard to get to, right? Increase by 25% if they're below 50 health. Not uncommon. Mobile gear symbiotes detected. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like 10% sounds good. I don't know. Yeah. Do the damage, huh? Alright, let's... I, I'm gonna suggest a mission. Let's do killing time. Let's do this. Let's see how that works. I think you're the leader now, though, so... If we have to do whatever you want. <laughs> but if he'll let us do this and we can... If we can hang for a few rounds, I, I think we could do quite well. So even if it fills... Even if that bar fills up, I can still... Yeah, I can still glide like that. Oh my god. Or is it still me that I have to admit, I was surprised when Joker killed his world's last line of defense. There we go. I trust he's Let's got just see what it does. If we can hang around for, you know, several waves. I usually go until I I start feeling like we're not hanging in as well like if i've been down like once or twice i'll be like i'll be like all right maybe it's time to move yeah the animation's really good man i'm 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 really hyped dude i i don't know new character is good but the justification for adding him and playing as him you know i want like a story I want there to be meaning here. Like, I, I'd like to see how the Justice League would react to seeing a, a new Joker alive, you know? Rain, and me with my umbrella. Be careful. 
powerful unit, this shot can go head to head with the best of you. How to teach you that you don't belong here? I'll have to get inventive. So, I'm so inaccurate, dude. I can't hit these. I can't hit these bubbles. Okay, now it's now it's happening. Dude, they really are gonna make me hit. We gotta hit the one on the back of the turret. Where is it? There it is, dude. <laughs> I can't hit it! Harley's bat drone is in the way! Okay. God bless, dude. So, Joker is free if you do the grind. He's 10 bucks if you want to, like, buy him and, and not do the grind. That's up to you. I've, I've seen a lot of people say, you know, like, hey, I didn't want to do the grind. It, it wasn't fun to me. I'm just going to give up and buy him. But that... To me, that sends the dev a message that this sort of practice is okay. So I, I, I kind of disagree with doing that, but you know, you do you. you. You do whatever you're able to do if you got, you know, money that's disposable and, and that's your choice, you know? I don't fault anyone for doing it, but I, I do think it does set sort of a, a bad precedent that, that the developer could look at the numbers and be like, wow, it looks like, you know, so many people bought this game, bought the character, you know, maybe we should do that in the future. It seems to have worked. Yeah, I still gotta get a feel for the, the movement. Oh, and then, yeah, so he rolls. I don't know, Harley does like cartwheels. I, I kind of wish Joker would do like flips or something, or some goofy dance moves to dodge. Hello? No, I'm trying to do a shield harvest. Hello? Okay. Hello? No, no. What do you call reality? I call a potential weapon. That bonus. Yeah, I mean, I, I get how it feels kind of scummy, sure. I, I see it as a time saver, though. So I don't fault anyone for doing it. Maybe you don't have the time uh, to invest, to grind for seven to nine hours to try out the new character and, and see if he's worth it, you know? But then, I think you still have to grind the 35 levels to do the Brainiac boss fight. But at least you'd be playing as Joker, you know? So, like, I see the upside there. Um, so, I don't know. They're not forcing you to buy him. It's definitely a choice. But it is up to you. But it does... I, I get how it does feel a little off-putting. Connections holding up well. Yeah, yeah, we haven't had any lag. I think uh, connection's been good. I guess I can't pick up these Bane things. I thought I could pick them up and keep your, your stuff going. I think you have to get them. Do we both get those pickups, or is that just for me? I actually think we're doing alright. We're doing better than I thought we would. You know, he's actually, you know, similar to the way I play Deadshot, right? Like, I, I hover around and I shoot people. You can kind of do it with Harley, but I mean, it's really hard to aim as Harley, you know, when she's like grappling around. What's up, Homelander? How are you doing? Gotta break that ice shield. 
Hello? Hello? I guess I can't. There's he dead. And they lay him in there. Uh, we might move around. Is there a marker? Oh yeah, he's already moved. Yeah, Evil Eyes is like, it's a ghost down here. Oh, that's cool. So if you slide with the umbrella on the ground, it's not going to use your... Yeah, it doesn't use up your stuff. Okay, so that's actually kind of smart. To kind of like, I would say grind across the rooftop. If you're, you know, referring to your umbrella as like a skateboard, you grind across the rooftop to... So you don't lose your aerial juice your combo. I think maybe down on the D-pad is how you mark stuff. I don't know. Finally. I'm too used to having like a sniper or like a really steady auto rifle for that. There it is. Oh, both. What kind of woman is my type? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I really haven't thought about that. Not sure I. Not sure. I don't know. Someone that's into music, right? Yeah. Taste in music and, and you know enjoyment of uh, video games definitely seems like a plus, right? I feel like some interests have to align, right? Those are very important factors in my life. I don't know. I've never really thought about it much beyond that. What is that? What are you? This thing ain't dying. Yeah, see how bad burn damage has been nerfed? I think I'm shredding those choppers even quicker uh, than my death shot. But, I mean, this is a really powerful weapon. An object rescue unit. Don't set the shot. Close the distance. Dude. I don't feel like my combo meter is getting very high, though. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being, like, super, uh, you know, I'm not, like, switching it up here. You gotta, like, Throw grenades, and I don't know why I keep keep saving grenades for like a rainy day. Yeah, my stuff ain't. It's not breaking those shields. Yeah, not grenade me. A derivative spectacle, Joker. I've seen this all before. Joker! We, uh, we're at mastery level 11. Not bad. We're doing alright. Hello? There it is. I wanted to get a takedown on this guy. Yeah, burn damage is bad, dude. Is, is your whole build like built on that, Utilize? Some of my build is. Some of my build is. Because Joker and some of these weapons seem to. And 
intrinsically burned. Hello? Are we? No? We're not doing the thing? Is he dead? I think he died. I don't know. I thought it was. Oh shit. About to get down. Need some shields. Your brutality. I have to admit, it's impressive. Shields. Where do I find shields? Dude, I'm not breaking those those shields. That sucks. Yeah, mainly. So mainly uh, burn build. Yeah. Oh, that was good. All right, let's try ultimate there. Keep forgetting to do that. Let me try this. He's got one more health bar after this. Oh, I got a level up. Reality is malleable, I'll demonstrate. Ah, you dumb thing. Oh, is that a tank? I think we got a tank. Did that guy just respawn all his health? Am I crazy? What is that? Is, that I'll have to get is he using those grenades too? Maybe Evil Eyes is rocking the... Oh, that was cool. I slid between his legs. It looks like you're using the polka dot grenades, but I'm not sure if you are. Maybe it's just a side effect of, of all my Joker BS. There's like confetti everywhere all the time. See, I need like a ground pound, and yeah, it doesn't seem to be one. There's not like a quick way to dive bomb. Oh, that was kind of cool. Dude, that doesn't even break their shields. It does get them harvestable, which is pretty good. Good old boys. Now 
Power. Your brutality. I have to admit. It's yeah, I think impressive. once once I unlock the whole skill tree, you know, maybe there's more stuff that adds to this. Yeah, just I gotta get good at chaining all these various things, you know? It's gotta become second nature. I'm controlling this. Oh, he froze me! There it is. I'll be right down. Where's that helicopter? There he is. See, I feel like this is the best way to level up. We'll, we'll see how me and Evil Eyes go uh, after this. So, Evil Eyes was 28. Am I taking down the shark creature before he destroys you all? So. Hey! Never seen the tears of a clown! Hey! Can't eat my See that? That was smooth. Pop some fireworks. See, that's not doing a lot of damage. That I need to invest, you know, something in, in making that deal more damage. Whatever that takes, right? Oh, and yeah, my weapon doesn't deal an affliction yet, so I need to. I need to get a weapon that does that, right? So, I'm, I'm still rocking Joker's uh, default crowbar. So maybe I'll get one. Hopefully I get one after this. And then of course, I think I'm dealing additional damage while flying. As with most characters in this game, you know, everything's all about verticality. Also, I feel like this mode here um, is really the best way to showcase like the the gameplay and like the mastery of combat and traversal. You can really hold your own in this mode here. Um, this is where the game can really look like a lot of fun. But I do hate the fact that killing time would be a lot of fun if we could do it in Metropolis proper. Instead of in this post-apocalyptic reskin, I'd I'd rather be traversing the whole city. There we go. We got him. Yeah, Evil Eyes agree. See, I got some good takes, guys. Evil Eyes agree. <laughs> oh man, do I really want it? What do you mean? Watch Godzilla? Which one? The the minus minus one or the uh the There's like a new one out? Uh, what's going on? Why are there so many Godzilla and Kong movies? I feel like there's a new one every week. Hey, like, what's going on there? We all think alike, yeah. For the hive mind. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what brings us here. We we all have similar tastes and some of the things that we want from our uh, from our games and from our entertainment. And we disagree on certain things. But. See, yeah, using that to swoop in, do that. And I wish I could have hit him before he did that. this get some health I feel like I'm able to do those takedowns pretty regularly that's actually good. okay this sniper dude like you see this he was they're sniping us from the other island man from the other island 
doing, man? What is this? I gotta go over there and kill this guy, you know? I've got an altitude problem. Dude, like, my bullets don't even work at that range. Why can the bad guys do it? But I can't. Why, why can this guy shoot me from a million miles away? Look at this. And I can't even, even break his stupid shield. I need... Yeah. Oh, maybe... Oh, the counter shot. Oh my god. Somebody's shredding me right now. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's only one guy. Oh no. Is it time to leave? Maybe it's time to leave, dude, because I'm not dealing any damage. It's, it's getting harder. It might not be high enough level. I don't know. Dangerous. Oh my god. I don't know, man. Who are you trying to We should dip? Okay. Alright, let's do it. I'm heading for the exit. The shark has fallen. Reality was feeling a little uninspired. So I revised it. Enjoy. Does that get us both to leave, or do you have to leave too? Prepare to fend off more enemies. Skip the back and you'll dance the whole There's no spectator camera? Do I, do I just have to watch this until you... Dude, if that's how that ends, that's kind of awful. God. Yo V4, have Very a good night, charged. man. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> the title fit for a king. Dang man, that was that was heated. That was a heated match. <laughs> We're neck and neck. Um, let's see. Give me something good. I was thinking new toy, regrettable tattoo. Deadshot, wrist new cannons. Toy. Dr. Crit's neck bomb, Master Hot Potato, Reverse Flash Focus. Oh, not good, not good. I needed something to. Uh, I mean, Hot Potato is really cool, but you only carry one grenade at a time. I'm not sure if I want that. And I'm kind of enjoying the uh, the polka dot stuff. Yeah, could be cool. Your self-belief is admirable. Okay, so let me... Let me level up. Because I got... Dude, I got two... Four levels? How how much did you level, Evil Eyes? What, what are you now? Am I stuck at rank 40? What do I have to do? Is there... Maybe there's a mission I have to play? What's going on here? Why is this padlock? Why is this padlock right here? There's got to be like a mission or something I'm supposed to play. You're a 32? Okay, so we, we could jump in and do it again if you want. Or you could do other stuff to kill, you know, kill some time, but... I, I think if you do one more killing time, we, we could go in and fight Green Lantern and get you Joker tonight. 
You're down? Okay, let me uh let me do a few things here. Let's let's see if we can uh change up some gear before we get in there. JL infused enemy, sure. Um looks what looks did I unlock? I didn't unlock anything. Oh, it's for other characters. Um Should be able to get it doing one more. I think so, dude. I think we got it. Uh one grenade at a time. Is that the only one of the... Or maybe I don't have a Master Hot Potato. Oh, I do, right here. 219-981. Wow, that's even better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna favorite that one. Yeah, I gotta unfavorite. Any of the ones that are not as good. Alright. Neck bomb. I mean, it would be smart to invest in the Scarecrow stuff. I'm just not sure. Because the poison would... Yeah, you know what? If we do... How many breath takers do I have? Let's see, this one does 1100 critical hit damage, shield regenerate on crits, firearm damage when magazines above 50%, 50% ammo gain from critical hits, 15% shield harvest chance, 1191. Um. Yeah, actually, that one's... I'm going to favorite that one. That one's actually kind of a banger. I think one of the devs said poison is critical. Yeah. And you don't necessarily need two poison weapons, although you, you could play that way. Dude, I need a new... I need a new melee weapon, man. That's... You're killing me with this. So, uh, yeah, I could, I could equip a shield mod, but I, I don't know. I really like that. 50% electrify, infused enemies. What, what is infused? Does infused mean they are, they are, um, they're like, infused means they have like an elemental thing happening to them? Like they're poisoned or something? Or infused by any sort of elemental damage? Trying to remember what that term even means. 38% heavy weapon damage. I'm not really doing that. Like, okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Um, shotgun damage, not really. Yeah, I could... I'm, I'm going to favorite this one because I do like it. And it is only for Joker. Um, yeah, maybe that makes sense. 13% XP from kills. See, I'm going to lose that critical hit ch kills either increased damage dealt by 100% or increased damage. That's a pretty cool perk. I don't know. Let's... And then let's see... Oh, I don't have a traversal mod. But I think I have a scarecrow neck bomb mod. Damage to burning enemies. Which part of my build intrinsically kind of does that. Did I do that right? Why is it saying I have a one piece bonus? This is Scarecrow. This is Scarecrow. This is Scarecrow. Why is it not? That's three pieces. Like normally Remember, that would... I've Sir? <laughs> it's not giving me the bonus. Is this game busted? Like, I have three scarecrow. Usually this works. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, 
What else? Oh yeah, I got those points. Let me upgrade. Uh, hundred percent chance you won't lose combo when a combo breaker event triggers once every thirty seconds. Being airborne for five seconds causes your next grenade to burn enemies. The burn is kind of shit. It's been nerfed by 50%. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me see. Uh, that's tier 1. This is tier th 2. This is tier 3. Oh, that sucks, dude. The grind... Oh, no. Why? Why is this game like this? Why do there have to be ranks to the gear? Yeah, so we gotta get higher tier. Whatever. I mean, this combination is probably better than what I had anyway. Alright, anyway, no let's... I don't promise let me do here well, some things... But let's have some fun. Um, critical reloads with pistols generate five combo. Oh, that's an easy yes. Increases the number of grenades. I like that, but I think upping the combo is better. Field harvest generates one combo. Field harvest 50% chance to burn all enemies. Increases melee damage by 100%. Melee cooldown increased by one second. I'm going to do Shield Harvest increases combo because there are times where there's like three or four enemies around me that I could just massively upgrade my combo there. Uh, successful counters while airborne generate 20% suicide strike resource. That's powerful. Swooping for three seconds increases the damage of your next melee hit by 150%. Oh, dude, these are... Dude. Ah, what? These are some tough choices, man. Successful counters while airborne. Swooping for three seconds. And and swooping... <laughs> what is... Does it say anywhere... Swooping. Okay, swoop is when you hold R1 and X, which is when the umbrella is, like, under your feet. So that's swooping. That's, that's kind of powerful, dude. Three seconds of swooping and then come in for a melee. I think I like that better. But I... I mean, getting that suicide strike quicker is also good. That's a tough choice. I, I could see coming back here and, and swapping that one. All right, anyway, let's, um, let me know if you're good evil eyes um, for some killing time. You're all specked up and ready to go. Don't leave me hanging. Good to go. Oh, Harley. Okay. Deviations into my schedule. But Wait, why do we have two? I oh, I didn't realize we have two Harley. Why are you avoiding my physical challenges? It's my intellect you should fear. Don't leave me hanging, Harley. Hey, there we go. Dude, she left me hanging a while. My votes from the polls are ridiculous. Terminator over banishers. Yep, that's that's what it was, dude. I don't know. You're still in your menu, though. You sure you're good to go? Cause you're you're hanging in the menu. I don't wanna. I wanna queue it up while you're like leveling up or swapping gear. Cause once we're in, we can't change gear. That's cool that you got like, he's like doing the comms thing. And then he's got like little fishies swimming around. 
I like that. He's constantly. Oh, you're paying. Oh, you're paying the contract. Okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> I didn't know you were doing that the whole time. <laughs>
Damn. Maybe I just messed up my build. <laughs> Oh, I got the little guy instead of the big guy. Oh, man. I feel like I'm already getting messed up. Maybe you can't melee, uh... You can't melee helicopters. Maybe I'm reaching. Welcome to my sandbox, Task Force X. It's where you'll be buried. Dude, look at how much damage that doesn't do. <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean I'm not religion? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm Catholic. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't know too much about the Muslim faith. But one thing I do know is that we are more alike than we are different. But you could probably say that about a lot of religions. But if you thought there was some sort of, you know, massive disconnect between the Muslim religion and the Christian. I think there's more, more we have alike than, than we are different. Yeah, I don't think I have a perk right now where I get health. Oh, maybe I do, yeah. I got health back on that. But it had to be a kill. That's the only issue with that. See, now I'm getting combos, though. That's the difference. Do that. Units, keep your distance from Joker. Yeah, I think I got off those shields before. I can knock enemies down with that. What do you call reality? I call it a potential weapon. An object lesson unit. Note that the shark closed the door. Dude, this is crazy. What level are we? Because I'm already 11? Mastery Resist level 11? Get, get, get out! Good luck. Okay. Okay. Need those heels. Oh, 
brutality. I have to admit, it's impressive. Eyes with the old. What? Did that dude leave? Alright, there it is. See that? I can just hover over him. Crit, crit, crit. Crit city. This doesn't feel like it's doing a lot of damage, though. He's out. Good. He dropped a lot of grenades too. Oh, yeah. Be careful, units. Your rules don't apply here. See, he didn't have the crit symbol, but I know that that's the pose that these guys do. See, so there still is a little bit of lag happening. It's very small, but that tends to happen in multiplayer. The crit symbol. Uh, seems to go away. I keep missing! <laughs> This dude. Can a grenade do it? <laughs> oh my god. I think we left at like 19 or 20 or something last time. That, that might be a good idea. Until I get further along here. I, I feel like I got less options to uh, regain health. 18? Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. I don't know why. Maybe it's my build. Oh, my combo got to 50, finally. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Alright. Sniper! Three talent points, that's nice. Let's go see what Evil Eyes is doing. What is going on with this tank? Okay. Okay. 
Hell yeah, brother. I got, uh, I got knocked down again. I was doing pretty good, and I was I, I was about to get a revive or a shield uh, boost. I feel like I was doing that bad. Yeah, I feel like if I had a dive bomb. Could have done that. Got back in. Hey. <laughs> Reality was feeling a little uninspired. Now we're shredding, boys. Enjoy. That boost. Why are there so many terminots? It's like an unusual amount. Alright, I'm going over here. There's a uh, sniper here. See, we're at 19. <laughs> How close are we? We're not very close to 20. Let's see if we can get to 20. Let's just make that a personal challenge. If things start looking bad, then, you know, change our minds. But let's see if we can get to 20. starting to hurt, dude. You're barely gonna make it. <laughs> what? Give me the... I thought I hit this guy. Hello? Oh, dude. I'm gonna get messed up by a technicality or something. Yep. Joker, it's funny, Joker. Damn. It's a fall for a world that isn't even yours. I'll give you that. Heal depleted. Look at that! It, it didn't count. Yeah, I think we're getting hit with lag. Take him off the ball. It's like, yeah, look at that. 
Like I'll, I'll hit a guy like that, but then it won't count. little dicey but I want to oh we're at 21 yeah what do you say we get out of here let's go okay <laughs> okay Goodness. Dude, it's already been a three. Am I showing three? Three, four hours? Extreme time's like 4.13. We did do great, yeah. I, I could just tell, like, health regen wasn't working as well. And, like, it wasn't counting. Oh, I'm in the Arkham. I'm in the Arkham restraints. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> That's actually pretty dope. I like that. All right, let's see. Dude, give me a crowbar, man. Give me a different melee weapon. I need it, man. This is Precise Danny. master grounded. Oh, that is piling them up. Mad Hatter's three leaf, three leaf clover. Notorious wrist cannons. Hmm. Dr. Psycho, Psionic Barrier, up to 36 now, nice. Dude, you're, you're gonna pass me. I don't even know if I'm leveling up anymore. I think there's something up. I think I have to... Oh my god, I level up six times. 20x combo and higher grenade hits cause enemies to deal 25% less damage for 30 seconds. Okay. 20x combo and higher successful counters have a 25% chance... And critical counters have a 50% chance to make the enemy shield harvestable. Oh, that's a game changer. Uh, 20x combo and higher grenade hits reduce the gliding and swooping cost by 5%. Okay, that's good. Um, 20x combo and higher successful counters increase the damage of your next grenade by 100%. Critical hit chance increased by 25%. Critical hit jam damage by 25%. 20x combo and higher damage to all burning enemies. Um, I like... Counters increasing the damage of the grenade, but I, I'm also a crit guy, man. I like to crit. Melee hits cause enemies to deal 25% less damage for 20 seconds. Yeah, it goes up to 200, but... Mine's, like, padlocked, so I don't know. Maybe I need to progress my level somehow. Like, like break through some sort of barrier here. I don't know. Melee hits cause enemies to deal 25% less damage for 20 seconds. Combo 20x and higher performing. A suicide strike generates 5 combo. Okay. Twenty x combo and higher performing. A razzle dazzle traversal attack increases the damage of your next suicide strike by 50% for each enemy killed. The only problem is my razzle dazzle is not killing. Razzle Dazzle Traversal attack hits cause enemies to take 25% more damage for 30 seconds. Kind of like that. 20x combo and higher damage dealt is increased by 50% while gliding. I think that might be the way to go. For now. Okay, so... Yeah, let me look at it. Let me see if it's... Yeah, dude. Everything's padlocked right now. So... Is there like... Yeah, we did the Joker thing. Is there like... Maybe I need to start playing... These incursions? I don't know. Okay, so we're ready um, to do the uh, the boss fight, yeah? I don't think... Look, 
lucky charm. Oh, I unlocked my lucky charm. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I might equip the scarecrow one. Even though the poison stuff is good. Yeah, see, that gives me the two-piece bonus. From Scarecrow, because I have two tier ones equipped. If I had a Scarecrow traversal mod, that would be good. Afflicted enemies within 20 meters of you deal 50% less damage. Eh. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm jonesing for a different outfit. This outfit's not good. Okay, we gotta go to the rescue the Joker mission. Let's get this reward retrieval underway. Get this drone, pal. Hang on, there's the way too many drones in way. this area right now. It's burning. Watch and there's that many. Good That's crazy. Effects. We'll keep you on. Does it feel a little laggy? Feels like it's a little laggy. Maybe they still have some kinks to work out in multiplayer. Oh, this helicopter ain't dying! Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's it's like barely noticeable, but there's like a a little bit of a frame drop happening, I think. Start slacking. Okay. Alright. Just let me know when you're good. Yeah, what is that? Why is that... Something I need to do? Like a... Episode rewards, episode intro... Mayhem mastery level is at zero. Incursion mastery level is at zero. Killing time mastery level is at zero. Like, so sometimes the game can be vague like this, where it's like... Mining and taking down. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what to do. From all the enemies is having a hard time <laughs> registering, yeah. Okay, there's Killing Time Hardcore. I've never actually tried that. We probably need to make sure... <laughs> I need to be, like, fully leveled. At least. Yeah, I didn't even notice that over there. That might make the grind even quicker. I don't know. Alright. Alright, let's queue it up. Mastery levels. Oh, here we go. Raise the mastery level to face greater challenges and gain better rewards. Got a looting note. You could try Palencia uh, after the Mastery, if we do that one, we get, what do we get? Will not increase your available mastery levels. Enemy mutators is like a health thing. Let's see, mastery two. Extreme weather. Okay, so I have the ability to put us up to Mastery 3, but... I think either way, it's going to give us Tier 1 Poison Mind stuff. I don't know. What What are you thinking, Evil Eyes? What are you feeling here? Because it wasn't that hard on sweating bullets. It really wasn't. But I'm... I'm unsure. You want to try? <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah. If you're willing to be crazy, I'm willing to be crazy. Okay, it might be a vote. 
So you might have to, because they put a little Joker face on Mastery 3. So you might have to toggle that yourself. Yeah, see, it says Joker suggests Mastery 3. Yeah, and you're the, you're the king in the castle, so... You might have to confirm that. I don't know. All right. Yeah, and we need to look for those those ammo pickups that enhance our our abilities. So we gotta do a couple missions, side effects, like and we have forty anything, minutes, right? and then we do the boss fight, and then you unlock Joker. Dude, it's already two a.m. I'm I'm willing to keep playing though. I can go another hour or so, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, this might take an hour. <laughs> right. Let's see. 305. Oh no, not the time zones. Revenge of the time zones. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's go here. Where is that? While the eggheads crack the data vault, I need you to destroy Terminot production. Luther, where are we on the roll? This work requires precision, Waller. Fudging the numbers will get okay. us nowhere. Alright. Let's look out that helicopter relatively easily. I don't want to jinx it here, but you're doing alright. It helps to massacre the enemy before you break up their stuff. Okay. Let's deliver the coup de gras. Hell yeah. Mm, that's B. Look at us with the teamwork. Focus on the two functioning incubators. The insurgents certainly will. Units, how have the Earthlings overcome the incubator's protection? Killed that incubator. Ah, makes you think you're better. Units, defend the last incubator and you might burn an infusion. I've got an altitude problem. If the crystal I am going, in love with this traversal, dude. <laughs> Is am I feeling more damage? I feel like this is easy. Okay, we got one more. Hole in one. This incubator is ready for the final turn. What a psycho, dude. <laughs> it looks so crazy, dude. Alright, uh, a thousand meters this away. And so if I do that, that'll put me in the red, but I can do that, and then glide, and I can drop, slide. Oh, that was an old, old school Batman symbol there. That was cool. Oh, what's the brain? 
aim at him. Eyes on the skies, Task Force X. Brainiac clearly doesn't want us here. Too bad. We aren't smashing any crystals till we get past their detail. Electricity that disables your, your abilities Ooh, really hurts. How many times do I gotta kill a crystal? I hope it's more. So annoying. Come on. Sucks all the fun out of the game. Come on. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, that was cool. Joker, oh, your vicious talents are I'm wasted a... fighting for this world. They guard the crystal with their lives. Take their lives. Ah, the crystals regrow like a mythical puppet. Destroy the crystals and this incubator ship will fall. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's see how two players handle this, honestly. He's more green. We we have to look again here. Task Force X. You'll find I guard my anomaly collection quite jealously. 
Wait, why is it? That's not showing Joker. Did they not the render Joker for this cutscene? Shall not escape my sight. Dude, come on. Did they really not? Yeah, I think he's greener, man. A symphony of destruction in A major. A major? Is that what he says? Is that a music joke? Sending a transponder that can wipe all Brainiac construct shields. I couldn't work on a real Green Lantern, but he isn't one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm starting to break those shields oh, a little quicker. Good to stretch my brain into the metaphysical. Will be on my okay, we need soldiers. I'll be right down. Oh, we did it. Nice. These troops have a condensed construct shield. Your reheating weapons just won't cut it. Okay, this fight's a hundred times funner. I'm I'm a dead shot main, but Joker's traversal, man, and just this gameplay, it's completely like different from everyone else, you know. Which is a good thing, you know. You want every character to have their the own playstyle and feel. Yeah, we just need... need to smart bomb Greeniac's constructs. I got you. We need more constructs to bust. Break his shield. Well, gotta hit sometime. Wait, what's happening? Close, man. See, in the early part of the fight, he doesn't summon as many constructs. Yeah, and I couldn't hit that missile in time. We're so close. The construct shielding on my units is a little above your level. See, how am I supposed to hit that while they're like zigzagging like crazy? See how I'm supposed to counter that. That's what I need a quick reach up. Feel good to stretch my brain into the metaphysical. Are you winning? 
Sending a construct overload. That's what we need. That's what we need. Maybe that's. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I'm dealing. We're dealing so much more damage, right? I feel like that was pretty good. When I was soloing this as Deadshot, I was like, I was like chipping away little bits. I feel like we did pretty good there. I was up close with a pretty vicious weapon too. That boom. Gigabytes on my PC? What do you mean? Like gigabytes of RAM or like hard drive, uh, solid state drive uh, storage space? Oh, his shield is down! Nice. Not bad. The lighting is so bad right there. It's just super shady. And it makes him look greener. I'm pretty sure he. He's a greener looking buddy there. Yeah, he, so like the Shit. SSD. Um, I'm rocking a two terabyte actually. So yeah, I got, now I got 500, uh, five, I think it's a 500 gig uh, hard drive. Just for programs and stuff. The two terabyte I use on the solid state drive, that's that's mostly for gaming. Okay, where's any safe zone? Okay. I don't see any. Oh, we got the missile launchers. We can bash those. He's like right on top of me. I'll activate my scouring Keep your toes. See, with two of us focusing on the uh, objectives like that, that's pretty crazy. Uh oh. Don't fail me now, game. Sit him with that. Is a little above your level, actually. A long task force X. So toxic, you melted my shield. I need a new one. That boy. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. The damage we're doing to this guy. Two of us. Pretty good. Uh, brand of the SSD. I, Samsung? It's a Samsung? 
And I think the hard drive is Western Digital. Um, if I remember right. I built this like, you know, almost 10 years ago. 8 years ago? Did not mean to do that, but that actually worked. Next phase. I think it's time to take this to the next level. Why limit my imagination to your capacity? Big green menace. Okay, bad news. The skull ship is targeting you. Good news? We can work with that. Run to every shield matic and flip the polarity. See, I feel like if I'm flying this high. He's not gonna be able to spawn the mines on me. This is super annoying. I've got an altitude problem. A construct and a capture C. You won't even survive this encounter. How would you survive releasing Joker? $1,500 PC, yeah, probably, hopefully. I would think so, assuming you're hitting it up with all the, the modern hardware. I, You know, by the end of the day, I think I'd spent about 1300 back in 2016 to build my PC, but I've made upgrades over the years, so if, if I were to, like, guesstimate how much I've spent, I, I've probably spent, like, 2000 or more. On upgrades, two 2k total is, is probably where I'm sitting at right now. If I had to guess. And of course, with all the streaming gear, I'm always upgrading that. Oh, we almost got him. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to blow up. Okay. Warriors, die for the glory of Kolu. A perfectly good shield ruined already. A redeployment is in order. Hello? Okay, there it is. I never pass up a chance to grievously injure and close. <laughs> what? Somebody shot me? I think I'm getting lagged. Step on the mine. I didn't I didn't see that come in from Yeah, I got lag. Yep. Yep. That grenade popped way late. Yeah, the multiplayer problems are not fixed. They're better. It's not broken. It's not unplayable, but. Hello? Dude, this guy's like skipping. Shield down, where is he? Joker. There he is. How oh, the tables have turned. We can get him with his own construct. I think he has one more phase. That's quite enough playing with dreams. Ooh. Look at that. It's even red. I don't know why he's doing that. Maybe because I have the mic muted? Oh, we got one more phase. 
Oh, maybe I hit the dome. Maybe that's what it was. I could have hit the dome earlier. Why is the crit not counting? You cower from me, but embrace this Joker. I want to build your world. He will destroy it. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. gonna pop that shield ship activate scouring beam <laughs> and do enjoy stirring the pot with lasers come on Hit him! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. You just keep saying it on, dude. You just... He does not want to die, sir. Oh, my God. There it is. Get him! Let's try this again. Sir? Waiting on you. Green Lantern shield has fallen. There it is. <laughs> What's up, Jay? How you doing, man? Multiple anomalies are always I like that fight. so vexed. I actually think that's an improvement over the Green Lantern fight. Maybe this is just a better arena for it, and there's more things going on. It's a little more complex than the average Green Lantern fight. Yeah, pretty enjoyable, right? And with two of us, I think it's a little better with, with more people. Because, uh, you know, solo it was doable, but it wasn't quite as fun. Oh, look. Look who this is. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Goodness. Oh, I got... Ooh. Sir. Sing us a song here. Okay. I had to soak that in, man. Uh, mastery level available for all incursions. That's maybe what I gotta do. Maybe I gotta play more incursions. You can replay the Mayhem mission to earn powerful, notorious, and scarecrow infamy set rewards. Every new mystery level completed in an incursion will be added to your fear rank, and additional mastery levels can be unlocked by completing the highest available in three of the six incursions. I, that still doesn't make sense to me. I still don't really understand all that. But maybe I'll get it when I try to select one. I just I'll take one. Doctor Psycho Psionic Barrier. Jay, have you unlocked Joker yet? Are you uh, on the jam here? Neck bomb mod. Three more. Contagion. Should I make sure? Ooh, Contagion. Um, it's not better than either of these, but it is, it's a tier one. And this is a toy man. 48% damage while shields at 100%. And I thought I was 
as a show off. How many level ups did we get from that? Higher mastery levels? Okay. Okay, and we did three. We did mastery level three. So I want to see if that ups us any more. Hmm. Uh, Jay, um, did you, ha have you done this yet? Have you done the Joker Jam? The grind to fear level 35 for seven to nine hours? I think you have to ready up, I don't know. It's level characters. Land rank. Okay, now we're back here. I don't know if it's going to make you... I thought we were going to watch the cutscene. Did it just skip the cutscene? Because we're in co-op? Or because I'm playing? I don't know. I got these three blank messages. I don't know what that is. Another yeah. man baby for me to take care of. Oh my god, wait. I'll take a brooding asshole any day. Wait, that's my whole squad is in the cell. That's all my my team. At least in wait, here, King Shark's lifting weights and reading a book. Home. Deadshot's looking at a picture, probably of his little girl. Um Boomerang. Boomerang looks like someone knocked him out. And Harley hey, is. Actually, wait. I love surprises. Harley's got some skills. The bat. Let me see. Can I? Can I craft a weapon for Run Joker? With guns. The game refuses to give me one. Let's talk shop. Melee hits on enemy increases the damage it takes from critical hits by two hundred and sixty percent. It's not as good. Yeah, that's not really. Why don't we make it though? Just, just for heck. In all my days, I never thought yeah. to be making this caliber of machine. A bloody tree. What if I around. need an option later on? Uh, shield mons. Yeah, I mean. Well, you can make that. I don't really want that. Joker won't let me make traversal mods for him. Uh, grenades. I'm happy with what we have. We got the polka dot, which I think is pretty cool. It's very on point for Joker. Lucky charms. I wonder if those are going to update with the new seasonal gear. Because... It's not showing any scarecrow gear there yet. Does Cash have anything? Let me check my pockets real quick. Huh. Nothing. We're almost uncommon with the clan. We're getting close to epic. We need to kill some carrier drones. Um Let's see if we can't make your head happy. Okay, I leveled up for four times for that. Combo 30x and higher grenades have a 50% chance to deal 50% more damage and have their explosion radius increase by 50%. We like that. Uh, combo 30x and higher damage reductions increase by 50% while moving. Well, I'm always moving. I'm always flying. That's pretty good. Combo 30x and higher every one second spent swooping generates 5% suicide strike. I like that. Razzle dazzle traversal attack. No, I'm going with the... Swoop at combo 30x and higher firearm damage increased by 50% on enemies that are further than 15 meters. Uh, damage deals increased by 20% on enemies within 10 10 meters. Why they have to do this? Why put it on the American system? Okay, let's do Imperial, not this this metric garbage. I don't know what meters are. 
This is a meter. Like that? Is that like a meter? How many meters is my head? Like half a meter? I got a big head. Um... I don't know if I, I want Joker to be... <laughs> if I want Joker to be... Uh, all the Brits in chat are going crazy. Um, the firearm damage increased by 50%. Enemies further than 15 meters. See, so I, I could go either way here. I feel like... I, I'm shooting enemies that are about that far away. That's not like sniping distance, you know? It's not crazy far away. Dude, I, look at this, dude. We started a Joker at level 10 when I unlocked him tonight, and we're already at level 25. That's not bad. Pounds and feet over here. Yeah, please, please. I'm not going to do stones and all these other archaic things uh, that they are measuring with. I'm like, I'm three stones, mate. Well, who's who's weighing the rocks? How do we how how we know how much the rock weighs? Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so I feel like. Okay, so which mission do I need to play? Maybe maybe you understand this, Evil Eyes. Okay, it's saying mayhem daily bonus countdown. What's mayhem? I don't know what the Mayhem Daily Bonus is. The Batman symbol? I don't understand what that means. Should we just do these missions here? That have that little symbol? Or do we do the purple ones that send us... These are the incursions, right? Like, they're not even labeled, man. Because, like... You hover over them, you would think it would say, like, what type of mission it is. It says the name of the mission, which is shooting gallery. But it doesn't say, like, hey, this is an incursion, you know? I think those are incursions. But, like, nothing's labeled in this game. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's try this because it's nearby. And then if we want to try a purple incursion mission right after, we could do that. That way we kind of, maybe we can get some intel here for how to level up post 40. Okay, I got you, man. Yeah, man, gotta get that rest, man. Don't go crazy all nighter here. I'm glad we got you the Joker. You know, you can work on that. That crystal cried slimy purple tears. I thought I took out all the... Did I not? Oh no, there's one more right here. There it is. Here's our opportunity to chew up this incubator and get it out! Okay, so let's see what that does. Every has its sticking points. At least, I've identified them yeah, now. Man, I don't think it'll take you very long to... To level up Joker a little bit. But let's see what that does. That needs to increase. Joker, you're up. Lead. Zero. I just went and did a whole mission <laughs> in the open world. Oh, something. <laughs> Oh, I finally got a new flail. Epic flail. Epic fail, epic flail. Oh, yeah, maybe you just uh, leave your PlayStation on. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is a... This is... Oh, this is another version. This is another Dr. Maru poison. Look at that. Huh. Uh-huh. Hmm, huh. 
it's it's tempting to get rid of that scarecrow pistol. Cause I really I'm not I'm not big on the big slow clunky revolvers. See, and the jawbreaker here, not quite as good. It it does look cool though. I think it's actually the same design as the crowbar I have. Yeah, I need to apply an affliction to my flail if it'll let me do that. Scarecrow weapons aren't doing it for me. Yeah, Today, like I have a poison enough. sniper, and like it's a slow bolt action sniper. Like it's it's really not that exciting. <laughs> it does good. It, it does Joker. good damage, but like the other chance. snipers in the game are so powerful. Like they hit really hard. And they're like rapid fire. Most of the snipers in the game are like pow, 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 pow. And it's like very unrealistic. But this new one's like super realistic and slow. And he's got a bolt action to pull. 100% um, next razzle dazzle damage. At 30x combo higher suicide strike kills. Increase the damage of your next razzle dazzle. Okay. I, I could get used to that. Performing Razzle Dazzle's Traversal Attack increases the damage of your next grenade by 10% for each enemy kill. Um, that could be good, but I, I'm, I'm interested in making the Razzle Dazzle better by doing a Suicide Strike, which is the square and X, you know, takedown. I think that sounds better to me. Um, okay, now I've unlocked the Squad Ultimate. Yeah, which... I really thought that was gonna be unique. Like, remember how Avengers had ultimates for each hero? But in this game, it's just like, slows down time for everybody. And it's all the same. Like, they had an opportunity there to do something unique. So now I'm three levels. I might as well stay up and max out. So I guess I'm going to stay up and max out. Thanks for joining, Evil Eyes. You made the experience better. We had a good time. We got you leveled up. Um, it was really fun to now this is rocket science. get to see how the multiplayer is running, which it's a lot better, but it's, you know, it's not perfect. Still, yeah, still some changes to be made. Yeah, right? Uh, it it would have been cool if everybody had, like, their own... And I would much rather circle and triangle be the takedown button and not square and X. I feel like every time I push square and X, it'll misread it. It'll think I'm trying to do something else and I have to like hit it three or four times. And it doesn't always get the enemy that I want to do a takedown on. So it is a little clunky. Yeah, and then same with the multiplayer. A little, little, bit of, little bit of jank here and there, but definitely better because I know there were like a couple of times where we played... Where it was totally broken. Okay, this doesn't seem to be raising any, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Doing these missions are not raising, uh... Let's see, smash and grab. Where's a smash and grab? That's a smash and Enemy grab. Enemy comms suggest there's that. a priority target around here. Maybe make it your the lag is insane on PC. Yeah, I've heard that there's been uh, some really bad uh, frame drops. So I have this game on PC, but I I don't think I don't think I want to play. Oh my God! Why is that drone all the way up there? Oh, dude, I'm about to get us to epic. I'm gonna get us epic care, care packages tonight. Care packages. Was, was no about to say. For our wanton destruction. Uh, we could do this one real quick. So these are the strongholds. The strongholds, listen, I had to go to the Suicide Squad Discord. And someone there had asked the devs. Hey, what are the strongholds, man? Like, I don't see any... This is another issue. Like, n these are not labeled as strongholds on the map, but that's what they are, is these new things on the map where it's like a, a little bit of the Joker universe has merged in with Metropolis. These are the strongholds. Like, 
they kept bragging about it like it was a completely new thing and a new mode or like a you know strongholds almost sound like a raid or like a, a strike or some sort of you know like oh we're going to like a warehouse to beat up some bad guys you know we're gonna do something and and it's really just this <laughs> which i mean this is cool it does look cool but i mean i i think there was definitely a big misunderstanding about what exactly it is and whether it's worth it or not. Definitely not great communication and I would think the UI in game would need to be a little a little better. Somebody play on the squad hit it. Alright. Yeah, a lot to improve on. But yeah, I think if the UI made more sense and they explained what what missions are I don't know, I just you know, Avengers got a UI overhaul pretty early on. Um even Destiny has had UI overhauls over the years, the division. I imagine Warframe has had UI overhauls. I, I feel like this game already needs one. Because not only were we saying before the game launched that the heads-up display, you know, just the general UI of playing the game is really hectic and really full. And then, of course, you have a bazillion enemies shooting at you at the same time on top of that. And then, same with this. Like, they're, they're dropping us a lot of gear that's kind of crap. And we we have to, like... We have to get through this report screen and get back to the map, and then I gotta edit my gear there instead of being able to break it down right here. Because, I mean, you usually know if you're like, oh, okay, well, I already have like 10 of these master hot potatoes, like, you know, or whatever it is. Overhaul and many toggles for quality of life. There you go. Now, there, you can disable parts of the HUD if you want, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'm a little, I'm still trying to learn things here. Considering and I'm, your neurochemistry, I, don't I was promise trying to decide well, what I could remove from fun. the HUD, but there's, there's so much information that is sometimes good to know. Um, I feel like you need the mini map because the mini map will often highlight which targets are necessary for a specific objective, right? Like, if they're like, oh, this, you know, a hit squad has come in, it highlights all the enemies in the hit squad. Or if you're doing one of hacks things where you have to defend her uh, her hack point, um, it, it will show you the skull enemies on the map are the ones you have to kill in order to retake the capture point, right? TV's about to fry up from the overmounting, <laughs> overwhelming amount of <laughs> Dude, it really is, man. It's, it's a lot. I've... I sound like an old man when I'm ranting about this, but I'm being real. Uh, transforms Prankster into Top Banana. This requires combo 40x and higher and increases firearm damage by 75% and causes critical hits to burn enemies. See, did they... I, I feel like there's there's no cohesiveness between the team, right? Like, if there's a team designing the build of the character, and then there's a team that's like, oh, here's what we're going to do to balance it out this season. We're going to debuff um, burn damage by 50%. Cool. Well, you just fucked up most of Joker's skill tree, right? Like, like there's, there's things in this game that don't make sense. 
I've played a lot of live service games. I know a lot about live service games. I know what perks are good. I know when things have synergy and when things make sense. And yeah, not every perk can be a banger. I don't, I don't expect every build to be like some ridiculous game-breaking thing. I'm very anti-game-breaking builds. But... Like, stuff like this, it's just boneheaded. It's like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. That's what's happening right here. <sighs> Increases your maximum combo by 15. And if the combo breaker triggers at combo 15x and higher, you regenerate 15 combo. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's like a little second chance. And they call it running gag. Whoever named these, these are pretty funny. Um, Jack in a Box. Transforms Prankster in a Jack in a Box. This um, requires combo 40x and higher and increases damage reduction by 40% and increases Razzle Dazzle Traversal Attack Resource Generation by 50%. I think I like that better. Okay, but Prankster does 20% firearm damage and 50% shield harvest chance. There's no way to, like, keep Prankster if you just... Like, Prankster's up here. This is a special skill. Like, I like that. I don't want that to go away. I'm not sure any of these trade-offs... Okay, maybe this one, 75% firearm damage. But then crits burn enemies. That's not good. Maybe this one's the smart one. Or that one. I, I don't know. I mean, there's no wrong choice here, really. And and I actually like what they did here. See how they've color-coded the playstyles? Firestarter is purple, ringmaster. So if you want to do, like, a build where, you know, you want to be ringmaster, just select all the perks that say ringmaster or firestarter. But, I, yeah, I don't think there's anything on screen here. There's nothing on screen that says what those builds are, right? Like, I guess, in Jester, right? Like, does Jester mean anything to you in terms of, like, tactical strategy or whatever? Like, with, with Deadshot, Tactician, Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter makes sense, right? We think sniping. We think about critical hits, right? Um, tactician, and then there's bomber. Bomber makes sense. It, you know, lots of grenades, lots of rockets, you know, blah, blah, blah. Tactician, a little more vague, but maybe it's kind of a nice mix. It's a nice in-between. Um, maybe a tactician holds back a little bit, uh, or plays a little differently, but so, I mean, I, I like the idea that they're naming... And, and then, even with the Harley, Run and Gunner, that build name makes sense. Slugger, it's all about melee. Detonator, it's all about bombing. King Shark, Artillery, Predator, Survivor. Those, for the most part, makes make some sense. And, and same with this. Charger, sounds like you're up in everyone's business. Hit and Runner, you're melee, run away, whatever. Ranger, sounds like we're sniping, right? Jokers, I'm not sure all these make sense. Maybe Firestarter is about bombs. Ringmaster might be your run and gunner. And maybe Jester is some sort of in-between. I don't know. That feels a little vague. I want to increase that. Yeah, being able to do Razzle Dazzle more often could be valuable. Because I'm going to exchange, I'm going to do a suicide strike, right, right here, to get a 100% boost on my razzle-dazzle damage. So I need to be able to do suicide strikes quickly. I need to be able to do razzle-dazzle, and it, if there's a damage buff to that, that'd be great. Not bad, yeah. Um, knock knock into ring a ding. Uh, let's see. So knock knock is shield harvest. Increases melee damage by twenty five percent, and performing a shield harvest has a twenty percent chance 
to spawn a live grenade. We've seen that happen, actually. There's there's times where I'm doing that, where I melee someone, and then the polka dot grenade drops. Because I, I don't use grenades a lot. I keep forgetting. I'm always saving them for like, oh man, I, I'm going to save a grenade for a special occasion. I, I need to be more liberal in how I throw grenades around, because myself and my other characters, we all have builds that generate grenades and you know, under different circumstances. So I should be a little more, you know, generous with how I distribute those. Um, okay, so Ring-A-Ding activates a combo 50x and higher and increases grenade damage by 100% and causes enemies hit by your grenade to burn. See, they, they made a character where burn is essential to everything he does. And they nerfed burn! They nerfed burn! They nerfed burn! Look, look, where is it? Where does it even say it? I know it says it somewhere. Episode gear, episode rewards. Somewhere it says it, right? It's, it's awful. Where does it say it? Where does it say it? Because I know it told me as soon as I started playing. Oh, I've actually collected a lot of the weapons. That's pretty cool. Um, where is it? I know it says it somewhere. You just have to look through these awful menus. Where does it say? Or maybe it says it... No, time played. Yeah, it's not even logging the amount of time played in each little season. Oh, here it is. Brainiac meta changes. Here we go. Here we go. All the enemies take 50% less damage from burning effects. See? Isn't that fun? Yeah. Uh, all Batman-infused enemies are affected by deep freeze for 25% longer. So, freeze is, is incentivized. And, and Venom was pretty powerful in, in the in the opening of the game, uh, the vanilla campaign or whatever, uh, Venom was pretty good. So now it lasts for 50% less time. Uh, yeah. Batman elites take 50% less damage. Grunts take 30% less damage from traversal attack. Oh, infused enemies, evil eyes. Infused enemies are not afflicted, the infused enemies were, were the ones that have, like, the green lantern shields, or they run away like the Flash and they teleport all over the place, or the ones that do the Batman smoke bomb vanish. That's what the infused was. There's so many terms in this game, it's overwhelming. There's a lot of terms. Um... Okay, Elseworld, Mutators, 100% chance an enemy will return to full health instead of dying unless suffering from poison. So, I mean, right there tells you poison is your jam. Enemies are within 15 meters of two or more other enemies that gradually regenerate their health five seconds after taking any damage. Suffering from poison negates this. See, they're, they're really... Yeah, and then the lantern shields are a thing... Highly resistant to player damage. Um, praising, countering, shield harvesting, or poisoning an enemy breaks their shield. I I should have went back into that. Um, I, I should have reread this earlier on. Because I was trying to figure out why I was struggling to break those shields. Uh, by just using my weapon. Sometimes the weapon shreds through it if your combo meter is high enough. But... In the early bits, it's it's a little tough. So, crazing. Crazing, countering, shield harvesting, or poison. Enemies take 95% less damage from all sources. If they're suffering from a poison effect, that take 100% more damage. You see that? But the poison weapons are all slow. The hand cannon's slow. The sniper rifle's slow. I haven't tried the shotgun yet. I don't remember if there's an assault rifle. There probably is. Probably slow, too. But actually, you know what? We don't have to use the Scarecrow 
poison guns. It's it's probably good to, but uh, enemies are immune to venom frenzy. Look at that. So what's the point in? Yeah, the bane builds are gone too. Um, just completely useless. All the stuff. If if you grinded the hell out of out of the bane thing, trying to get the bane weapons and trying to get a burn build and all this cool stuff, completely negated in the first season. It's it's almost as bad as Destiny when they, they sunset your weapons and they're no longer good after a season. Almost that bad. Um, my Bane burn build just went out the window. Yep. So now you get why you like, you know, you might have felt a little less powerful today. I think you were doing all right. Most of the missions you had a higher score than me. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not knocking you. But you see what's happening in the game. You see what changes they're making. Um, so, okay, so let's just look. Because I have... It's here somewhere. Is an auto rifle. Okay, yeah, we got a couple of these poison rifles. Enemies hit become poison. The alt fire, you hold triangle to enable it. Shoot Maru Poison that deals 250% increased damage to poison enemies. Uh, critical hits on poison enemies makes them shield harvestable. Killing a poisoned enemy, 30% chance to spread the poison, right? Shield harvesting regenerates 20% Maru Poison. That's actually pretty good. I might actually throw that on. Um, I thought I had another one. Maybe it was a different type of weapon. just don't know if... Yeah, Master Merlin's pistol is really powerful. I might swip out, swap out... Swap... Uh, I might swap out. Swip swap. Was it a shotgun? I don't know. One of them was something different, because I know I have more than one of these Maru injectors. Yeah, so this is better than Scarecrow's pistol. I'm going to try that for a while. That's a tier 2 neck bomb mod for Scarecrow. Currently have a tier 3 equipped. Not for that occasion. The Bane shotgun wasn't doing anything. Oh no! Yeah, let's try that. Let me look. It was a sniper? I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Oh... Oh, it was a sniper. I thought this was a like an auto rifle or something. This is probably better too. I mean, I've been rocking the St Scarecrow two-piece bonus. This sniper might be better. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ditch that Scarecrow bonus for now. And then we got a couple of these. Oh, we got Mad Hatter's Three-Leaf Clover. Each enemy you hit with a melee attack becomes poisoned and you regenerate 10% shield. I, I really like the free flow uh, wrist cannon here. I need to favorite that because I actually like that. Um... I think I do want to try this Mad Hatter's Three Leaf Clover. It's it's got higher DPS, but weren't we reading that Venom Frenzy got nerfed? So I need to I need to probably switch it to like Deep Freeze or something. Oh, there's a synergy here between Scarecrow 
and Mad Hatter. When you kill an enemy with a critical hit, you add a hat to your collection. When you have seven hats, one of these crazy things happens. Increases damage dealt by 100% for 20 seconds. You take 50% more damage. Ooh! Increases affliction resource generation by 500% for two second, 20 seconds. Completely refills health and shield and makes you immune to damage for 10 seconds. But you deal 50% less damage. This doesn't sound good. Am I wrong? Some of this, uh, some of this is like a. Uh, okay, A is A is cool. There's a trade-off, right? You're more powerful. You're a little weaker. Affliction resource generation. Okay. Refills health and shield, makes you immune, but you deal fifth. That's a lot of less damage. I don't know. Jervis Tetch has a unique cutting edge approach to influencing brain patterns and behavior. Unfortunately, he's obsessed with headwear and fairy tales along with tech. If one can ignore that, the possibilities are fascinating. Scarecrow. Mad Hatter first appeared in Batman number 49 in October of 1948. I guess we'll try it, right? Oh, he's got little hats. Look at that. I didn't notice that. It's got a little hat. A little top hat on his his glove. Freeze or electric, yeah. I I like wanna figure something out for electric, but I I haven't been able to. And I'm not getting any scarecrow traversal mods for some reason. Just not. Yeah, I'm using a lot of Notorious gear instead of the Infamous. Let's see if we can't make your head a happier place for right, the rest of us, Joker. Alright, let's do this. Um, there's a combo 50x and higher. Increases grenade damage by 100%. Causes enemies hit by your grenade to burn. Uh, every one second spent gliding or swooping generates suicide strike resource. I like that. Combo 50x or higher. Increases shield capacity by 40%. Shield harvest damage by 100%. And performing a shield harvest has a 100% chance to spawn a live grenade. Oh, that is... Hmm. Hmm. I knew there was going to be something. One second spent gliding or swooping. That's so powerful. Shield capacity by 40%. Shield harvest damage by 100%. Harvest damage. Hmm. Hmm. 100% chance for a grenade. Ugh. I feel like that because knock knock does melee damage and I had a 20% chance to spawn a live grenade. Now I have a 100% chance. That, that might be really powerful, right? To do a shield harvest in a big group of enemies, boom, drop a grenade. I, I think that wins over the suicide strike. As, as much as I would like to regenerate that, I think for right now, I kind of like the... We'll change knock-knock to who's there. I can't believe they did that to me. Um, swooping... Swooping is when you're... Is when you're riding the umbrella. So, like, you know how I turn the umbrella onto my feet? That's what swooping is called. Um, it details it right here. So, R1 and X is the swoop. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I could do that for several seconds, you know, traversing the map and potentially, you know, get my suicide strike. And then, of course, I use my suicide strike and then my next um, razzle-dazzle traversal attack will have a 100% damage buff 
to it. Yeah, there's some options here. I mean, some of this is interesting. Some of the skill tree has some really good perks, and it's, like, agonizing to pick which ones. But then other times, there's just, like, perks that are dumb. That they're just like, why is this here? Like, it doesn't make sense, or... Joker. Let me see if I'm I have an example of one. Chance. I don't know. A lot of them are the single ones here, where it's not really a choice. Like, it's just... Now you do 5% razzle-dazzle, or, or enemy kills generate 5% razzle-dazzle. It's very inconsequential. And remember when we played Gotham Knights and there were a lot of things in the skill tree where it was like, you now heal 20% better. Like, nobody gets excited to go through the skill tree to get something like that. We want like a new ability to use in the skill tree. We want like a new move or, or a new gadget or something. So, some games, not so great with the skill trees. This is pretty good, but it's half and half. And Gotham Knights had some really bad stuff. But there were some cool things in there. But it was obscured by, you know, unlock this thing, do 10% more damage, or heal 10% faster, or whatever. And I was just like, why is this even in the game? Hello? I'm trying to scroll the battle pass. It's not letting me. Okay, I guess the battle pass is broken. I wanted to, like, see where I'm at on the battle pass. It's not... Okay. I guess, I guess we're done looking at the battle pass. <laughs> Consider. So stupid. Okay, so... Doing these missions is not increasing so i i think it's got to be these it's got to be the incursions right um so let's try yeah i feel like that one will be good thousand. i don't know if i want to do the gun one yet in a lost and deadly earth infamy set of this earth. Oh, let's try the new uh, poison gun. Look at that. Oh, it's even got the radiation symbol. Can't tell them who rescued them, but I noticed. Look at that. It's got it's got the radiation symbol. That's so cool. Yeah, so this is swooping right here. And then I could do that. There's just so much you can do. Okay. Am I going up? Thank me after you catch it. beginning our descent. That was weird. My umbrella was like floating upward. Oh, no. Who is shooting me right now? Oh, hello. Okay, jury's out. I'm not even holding triangle to use the poison resource yet. Um, but I'm not. If this direction's wrong, maybe I don't want to. I think I have any poison rounds because the bar's not full yet. And let's see. That was from. Critical hits on poisoned enemies. Okay, so you can't poison a helicopter. I wish this game had different loadouts for us to build with each character. You can save different builds. Oh, you you can. Yeah, it has that. Hang on. 
Let me, uh... Hang on, hang on. Let's find a safe spot. Oh, the inhumanity. 40% uh, from Legendary. Okay, we're getting there. Alright, I think we're good here. So, uh, you go to loadout. You go to saved loadouts. Hold triangle. Right here. Yeah, so I already have... I saved all my loadouts. You can save, like, my entire character set. Like, this is everybody's loadouts from last season. Um, I did that before I started the new season, because I was like, I think I have some pretty solid builds um, when I was starting. And then I did individual ones here. But it's kind of busted. Like, if I try and make a new one right here, it automatically tries to overwrite um, one of my... This save. It's, it's trying to overwrite slot 7. So these five slots don't work for some reason. And it it saved in the first slot. And then it, it started saving in these bottom slots here. It's I don't know. It's not working right. It's, it's definitely broken in some ways. Even Avengers didn't get this. This was a feature that they wanted to add in Avengers. And then they just didn't do it. <sighs> just... Yep. Very strange. Great feature. Glad it's here, but it, you know, somehow it's broken. Oh, now I'm getting shot at. Oh, it's because we're in a multiplayer. And I... Is there a way to switch that back to single player? I probably have to leave the session. How do I do that? Maybe here? Matchmaking? Well, it's on private squad, but it's, it's, um, yeah, maybe I have to quit the session. I'm going to go back to, like, a single player thing. That way, when I pause, the game is actually paused. Yeah, I want to, I want to level up Joker one more time, and I want to see if one of those incursion missions will actually raise, uh, you know, continue progressing the ba uh, not the battle pass, the fear levels, right? Okay, now I, wait, now I have, no, I don't. Okay, so I'm invasion level four. I'm al almost unlocked invasion level five, I'll show you. It's very close. So I need 400,000 XP, I'm at 348,000. Um... I've never actually done that. Okay. Game mode. You could go back to Finite Crisis. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Try that. I guess we'll have to log in after the maintenance, um, which, what was it? It was like 3 or 4 a.m. Pacific? Like, it was like 6 a.m. my time or something? I don't remember. So yeah, I probably need to wrap up before the maintenance hits. <laughs> the maintenance is going to hit soon. Um, yikes. I hit record while we were, I was recording, oh no, I was recording go, while we did go, the Brainiac go. boss fight and Brainiac I forgot to stop recording. I'm gonna have like a massive recording now. Oh no, I'm gonna have to trim that. Oh no. <laughs> How big is that gonna be? Oh my god, it's an hour long recording, it's like 5 gigs. Oh no. Yeah, I wanted to be able to upload that. Oops. I need to remember to stop the recording. <laughs> um, scheduled maintenance. Let me pull it up because... Uh, 4 a.m. Pacific, which is 6 a.m. my time. Yeah, so I need to wrap that up soon. <laughs> 
4 a.m. Pacific. That's when they said they're adding new digs, which I guess we all chose to interpret that as new clothes. Because, I mean, uh, new digs, to me, would, would mean, like, a new location, but... Um, like a new hideout or whatever, but that doesn't make sense for this game. Unless they're going to introduce the Watchtower, which I think they might someday, but... I mean, please do it with, like, a story event, you know? Don't just... Don't just do it. Almost out. Don't be and weird. I wish, yeah. Because remember, there was a thing in the Hall of Justice where they were like... Um... Where the, it, it told you about it, briefly. Um... Where it said, hey, this teleporter, you know, takes you up to the Hall of Justice. And it was like a teleporter. I don't know if it was... I think it was made by Batman or something. I think they were saying. So. So it looks like, you know, if it exists in the game world, there's a chance. But who knows. Oh, dude, I haven't seen it rain in a while. See, I'd rather do... I'd rather do that endless shootout here. I think it'd be more fun. Oh, we got a Riddler thing. I don't know if I can do it with Joker's Traversal. I don't know. Let's see. What? Dude, it didn't count that one. This game's so fucking stupid, dude. And now I got hit by a sniper. Yep. So now I can't. Cool. Cool, dude. Appreciate that. I'm gonna reset the challenge. Yeah, it'd be a great... Like, how cool would that be if it's like a social space, too? I think like Destiny with the tower. Like, why is this a combat zone while I'm trying to... Look, it did it again. Dude, this is a fucking nightmare. Dude. Somebody save me! Dude, please. Oh my god, I missed it by like a few seconds. Really, this is my I, prove you can be I can't believe how generous they are on the timer. Why does he miss it every time? I get I need to get good at traversal, but at the same time, like, why is it so bad? Like, it's not counting that I'm going through the checkpoint gates. Look at this. There's one right there. Why is that not counting? Yeah, missing the last marker, right? Oh my god. I'm just like crashing into the dumbest shit too. Coming in fast. Okay. All right, that was way better. Holy crap. I, I can't do this with uh, I want to get less than 3 stars. I can't leave them I can't leave them unfinished like that. That's bad. Um, okay, so we said... Um, try the purple missions now. Um, okay, it says mastery next to it. Maybe that's what we need. Let's see if that's it. Dude, can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> missing it for no reason. Yeah, so that's the move. 
And then you had the wall run, and then you can boost up while you're wall running. You can press X to shoot the rocket up like that. I honestly thought the umbrella was more penguins thing, but honestly Joker is is rocking it and it it fits his personality. Surfing was such a great idea, indeed. That's so, like, out of the box. You wouldn't normally think of that. Unlocked. Okay, here we go. Mastery 2. And that says level 2 Bane drop is what it shows in the thing. That's funny. Okay, so... So I can do Mastery 3. So at what point... So it goes up to Mastery 13. I guess just do this? Like we did with the boss fight? Real, the real league. Yeah, this sucks. I've been playing like all night and I've been stuck at 40. Prize Mastery 4 isn't unlocked. Yeah, cause like we beat that together we did the Brainiac boss fight. What does this mean? Alright, Mastery level version. Like, maybe I have to play this mission on Mastery 3 before I can unlock it on Mastery 4? Like, but we did it on the Brainiac boss fight. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like, this is the stuff I don't understand because it... You know, they'll explain it, but they'll use all this terminology and then it's not labeled properly here, so we don't understand what's what. Like, for visual learners, you know, I, you know, or someone who learns by experience, I, I need the explanation here, too. Yeah, I thought it would be unlocked, but I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so let's go over here. It should just be a quick, like, wipe everybody out type of mission. I'm gonna go over here and grab this ammo thing. It'll let me. We can stop looking, gang. Oh, it's gone. It vanished. Trouble. It does this too, where the, the things vanish. Oh, those are TV sets. You're a long way from Arkham Task Force X. They will go out of their way to add cool stuff like that. I need this. Oh, they're the Flash. Flash boys. You think I'm 15 meters away? How do I know if this guy gets poisoned? Uh-oh. Helicopter got me. Do this. trying to get a takedown. Oh, that one's cool. He stabs him in the head with the umbrella. Level the block wide up. A derivative spectacle joker. I've seen this all before. Oh my god. I don't know. It's not triggering the old triangle. Yeah, I don't have any of that ammo. And it says crits. 
is it crit kills or just crits? I thought it was just crits, but maybe it's crit kills. That's it. Yeah, better skins would be good, dude. Absolutely. Okay, we did it. Jump in your target now, Joker. Scurry home to your feeble. See with Joker, you could actually I'm playing it safe because Yeah, you could actually surf a long way like that. Okay, let's let's see if we get it. We should. Okay. Okay. So that was three level ups. <laughs> Needs a. <laughs> Hang on. I. I don't know if that's true. He might have one. Let me double check. Does it come in purple and green? <laughs> I just. Notorious reverse flash, narrow focus. I already have all this, but okay. And it dropped at tier one again. All right, all right, not bad. Okay, so that should be the last level up. I don't remember. There might have been a thing to mute. Okay, there's dialogue, but you don't want to mute everything. Nah, I think. No. Speaker names. Nah, maybe it was a different game. I think there's like another game where you can turn off the... I don't know if dialogue would do it. It might, it might turn off everything. Don't know. Yeah, he does talk a lot though. Graphic neck bomb effects. Yeah. See, there's so much here that... Now, I keep thinking, like, at some point I'm gonna turn off this, 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 and this. I have dynamic tutorials off. But it, it was turning them on for some reason. Yeah, there's like a lot of HUD stuff that you can turn off. But it just, I don't know. Like, the damage numbers can get annoying sometimes. But like, sometimes that's important because it communicates to you that you're getting crits, right? Let's so, see if I don't we know. can't make your head a happier place for the rest of us, Joker. Alright, while the squad ultimate's active, you deal 100% more damage with grenades and grenade hits. Generate 10% razzle dazzle traversal attack and suicide strike resource. Um, that's pretty cool. When the squad ultimate's activated, you spawn three grenade ammo at your feet and continue to spawn one every five seconds while the squad ultimate's active. And the squad ultimate lasts for 30 seconds. So that's six grenades every five seconds. Uh, while the squad ultimate's active, critical hits cause enemies to immediately become shield harvestable. That, that could be good too. Hmm. 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 The grenades, powerful. Mmm, see, those are some good perks. Or you deal 100% more grenade damage, but I feel like having more grenades is, is really powerful. Three grenade ammo at your feet and spawn one. So you could just chuck three, like, right away at the horde of enemies stuck in slow motion. And we got, we got brutes all over the place and just go, boom, grenade, 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 and then get back six 
every five seconds over a 30 second period. But what I do while the squad ultimate's active, I just unload. I just aim for the crits on brutes and other enemies. And then becoming shield harvestable, this could get me out of a pinch when I'm low on health, right? And sometimes I need that. You know, sometimes you're out of your... Um, what do they call it? Suicide strike. And maybe you're shooting people in the legs and it's not making them harvestable. You know, sometimes that happens. You get, you get caught in a pinch. Ultimate opening gag or ultimate party favors. What do you think, Evil Eyes? What do you got? You do the grenades or the shield harvest? Jester and Ringmaster. Fire starter is all about grenades. I'm trying to get a feel for like what all these mean. Ringmaster is maybe a, a damage thing. You do grenade. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I want to deal some damage. See, and I haven't even gone in heavy on the grenades in, in some of these. I do it here and there. Melee knockback to me is not valuable. We'll do the grenade thing. We'll see what it's like, you know? Um... I need to probably spend a point in pistols because if I'm going to play Joker a lot, he's a pistol guy. Um, already have some auto rifle stuff, but for the most part, I, I feel like I'm rocking pistol all the time. Uh, these are gold. They're purple. We don't need purples. Not doing anything special for me. I need to get rid of those yellow ones unless they're like a master version. I don't know. Some of them have decent perks though. Okay, so I got a hack and I got two scarecrows, but one's a tier two and one's a tier three. Uh, hey, I got this tier two. Ending terror. The the problem with this gun is it wasn't building up the enemies hit with this firearm become poison. It wasn't I don't think it was doing that. Why wasn't the poison meter filling up? Shoot Maru poison, right? Critical hits on poison enemies makes them shield harvestable. Killing a poisoned enemy is a 30% chance to spread the poison, right? Yeah, the Maru poison is not rocking. So why is that? Maybe there was just too much going on. Maybe I need to do like a case study out here. Where's that drone? There it is. Put some bullets in this drone and some prizes in our pockets. I need to shoot something organic, maybe. Thing was so far away. Okay, let's shoot these guys. Let's see if we can poison one of them. Okay, so he's poisoned. Oh, now I have a little bit of poison. See, that bar wasn't filling up at all. I don't think that bar was lit up at all. See, so now... And I... Dude, a single burst. And it's gone. 
I did a single burst on that guy. Oh my god. And he shot me. Can you believe that? I was hitting the guy. Rerolling the stats? Yeah. I honestly haven't done that for anything yet. I've been... I've been waiting. But yeah, I don't think it would re-roll that. A 50% da damage to frozen enemies. That really means I need to I need to make the crowbar do frost, and this grenade probably needs to not do Diablo Blaze anymore. Uh, maybe do the electric stuff. And what was it the electric, like, what was it the electric did? Um, let's go over here. The electric, it, it was like you do more damage to enemies, but regenerate less health from them or something i mean we can ask ivy here i got that poison effect or whatever from poisoning enemies i bet you're here to make those stupid metal weapons a electrifies more for 15 seconds mm -hmm. firearm hits Face are crits melting. yeah yeah there it is so it's all Let's crits it, but they deal more damage to you. That was the problem. Right. The the blaze is the one that nullifies the shield harvest. Yeah, that, that's a little bit of a bummer. So it feels like deep freeze and live wire bolt and poison are the way to go. So let's do... Um, with the flail I have equipped... Let's do. Let's do freeze. Well, you don't shatter a limb. What does supercharge do? It just makes it affliction duration. Um. Mm, I guess I have enough resources. <laughs> Why am I being stingy? Which. Oh, you can up term. this three times. Um, okay, I guess you I can afford that. Well, this is like the ice chewing them. Oh my God! Why is it? Why does it look like that? That's the scarring to my eyes, dude. Okay, it it's only because it was infusing it. Okay, I was like, I hope it doesn't look like that all the time. You're killing me. All right, and for the grenade, so it does Diablo Blaze, but burning has been just totally ruined. So, but they deal more damage. Like, what if this comes back to bite me, you know? Should I just do freeze for everything? Hmm. <laughs> Electrifies enemies. All firearm hits are crits. Yeah, I could just unload on them and kill them right away. You, you, you're laughing because you know it's true, right? You know it's true. I'm gonna throw this stupid grenade, and every enemy is just gonna turn and blast me. But it's only the ones that are electrified, right? You're gonna stick with freeze. Yeah, cause like, look what freeze does. Um, right here. Uh, frozen enemies take 200% damage from firearms and 1,000% from falling. So I guess if you freeze something that's in the air, or, or knock someone off the ledge with a freezing attack. Reduce damage from melee, nullifies critical hit, nullifies ammo drop chance. That's rough. Uh, 50% chance the explosion propels up to three additional. I, I feel like this, I'm going to risk it, dude. Electricity can I'm going to risk it with a live help. wire bolt. Uh, this will destroy it, though. Why does it do that? It, like, selected something else.
Okay. So, supercharge, grenade. Don't know why Mitak call it. Juice, oh wait, this one. But I put in. Oh, it's different resources, but whatever. I'm gonna do it. I'm taking this power from the Hall of Justice. Don't tell. Okay. So. We're electrified. I don't think. I don't think here that I want to do. I'm just engineering stuff for real. I think I want to change anything right now. Actually, 3% suicide strike resource from traversal attack kills. That could be better, right? I just don't know if I want to do it. I'm being stingy. Like, these low percentages upset me. 3% MO gain. Like, it's, it's so minimal. It's, it's not even, like, measurable. It's such a... Oh, a leading. Yeah, there's also a leading like a Joker. weapon, which... I, I can do that. Okay, so... It unlocks the ability to re-roll all of its augments. I... Could be better, but I don't know. I I keep saying I'll save it for when I get like something really, really good. Like a weapon I know I'm gonna stay with for like forty to eighty hours of the game or something. Gosh. I'm crazy. Running with guns. You need a good gun runner. Let's talk shop. Oh, so now I can craft some Bizarro. Yeah, it's it's tough decisions, man. So I can craft some inner gang weapons. The Bizarro shotgun. I don't think I've tried the Bizarro hand cannon. The Bizarro sniper. Hey, the black mask stuff is still it's so good but yeah because it's burn damage damn bummer see and they won't let me craft any for joker why not Come on. Lucky charms. See, it's it's kind of like every game. Once you level up or the economy gets to a certain point, all the merchants become moot. They never upgrade the merchants. I hope they will. I mean, I'm I'm seeing that they're selling inner gang gear. But they're not, I'm not seeing that they're selling any Scarecrow stuff or any, anything beyond that. But maybe I'm yet to unlock some stuff. Maybe I have to get further along in something, but thus far it's really only showing the Bizarro and the, and this, and the Black Mask. And the Bizarro stuff we got after we beat Superman, which to me made it seem like, okay, are we going to get guns with every hero we defeat? That would have been really cool. Because Bizarro is, is kind of unique in that way. It's kind of cool. Okay, so overhauling re-rolls. But you can re-roll over it. Uh, I don't know. 
I feel like these kind of suck already. I, I don't like either one of these, but... Well, actually, the 23% critical hit damage is pretty good. But the 0.7% shield regenerated on critical hits... That's fucking nothing. If it says 0, 0 0.7 is not really an improvement on 0. <laughs> okay, it's not... It's not even 1! Come on, man. What's with these stats, dude? 0 0.7. Freak out of here. Quid pro quo? Okay, Show so we're at legendary the on the daily pro packages. Pro. So we gotta we gotta keep logging in every day, guys. We gotta do the the grind, okay? We gotta keep that up. I know it's hard. I don't want to play this game every day. <laughs> but maybe if I can just get on and and shoot a few drones. Okay, so for this, this is a long grind. 159 hours. That's all about missions and higher clan ranks. Okay. I just hate that this stuff resets. I, I know it incentivizes you to play the game regularly, but like, man, I can't live on this game all the time. Like, I got Dragon's Dogma 2, I got Rise of the Ronin, we got Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. You know, I still want to finish Midnight Suns, you know? I got Hitman 3 and some interesting uh, content to play on there. Yeah, I got that. I got a lot of stuff, man. Okay, so okay, so now it says highest mastery level completed three. So now we we pretty much got to run these levels and try to. But this one here doesn't. I, I just like replaying that mission. So whatever. So are these... Did we unlock looks for the Joker? I think we did. My eyes, dude! Really? With the yellow? Yellow looks good, but damn, it's like reflective. Jeez. Fake. Can't even see anymore. Come on. I don't know, that hurts my eyes, dude. I was ready to equip something different, but ugh, maybe not. Goodness sake. I know it sounds nerdy, but this is totally the highlight See, of my day. And there's too many resources in the game. And look at me, I'm I'm barely playing this game. I'm playing it a couple times a week. And, or maybe less, actually, until now. But and and I have like a gazillion resources. I'm I'm set as far as resources go. Okay, so even on non-organics, I got some poison rounds there. I'm actually doing all right. Okay. Yeah, dude. I'm having too much fun. I will say, grinding these missions as the other characters was not fun, trying to unlock Joker. But since I've unlocked Joker, the game is more exciting. It's more fun to play those replayable missions. So while it felt monotonous trying to get to this point, it's weird. It's no longer monotonous. Isn't that strange? And he's already leveled up, but now it's about the gear chase. Now it's about, you know, getting these mods right. And maybe Joker. occasionally and making change, to uh, changes to the talent tree. Um, and going from there. Profile. Oh, so if I do... Hang on here. I don't know if I can do this while you're offline. I thought profile was going to bring up your PlayStation. Oh, dude. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm I see what you're doing here. How do we... Can I... No, that's character stats. It's player stats? No. What if I want to see... You town? Considering your no. new chemistry, oh, I can see your skill tree. Well, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay. 
So I can see what you have equipped. It just won't let me go over there and... Like, if... I, I can't look at... I see what weapons you have equipped, but I can't. Wait, that Uzi is max. What does that mean? You have something maxed. Okay, and then... Social squad feature can only be changed while talking to Rick Fly. So I could pick your... I guess this is where I would go to pick your Harley Quinn. Maybe? Or I don't know if it just pull any of your characters. It'd be nice to have your King Shark in my game. Hmm, interesting. We learn something new every day, don't we? Uh, let's see if we can unlock some more cosmetics. Let's see what we got here. Customary style of I know I'm going to get frustrated with these. I had to fall. I couldn't land on that railing for some reason. Yeah, I can do that. I don't know. It's just really hard to be super precise. So... Damn, where are we going? See? See how hard it is to Oh my god. Name this one after me. Sir, please. Mobile gear symbiote detected. Sorry, I mean Lutinos. Fuck, dude. Are you <laughs> I'm just gonna can I queue these up as dead shot? I'll get these done in like two seconds. My goodness. Are, are you kidding me? Like, there's no precision with this guy. You gotta get good, but I mean, still. See, he automatically starts, like... What was that? Oh, okay. I did the reversal attack. I'm gonna get there in, like, three minutes. I uh, might as well go back to the start. Very smart, you devilish debauchers, you. I'm just gonna do this as, uh, let me switch to death run. I'm attacking death shot's target. I made this for the bat, but it was too simple. Absolutely perfect for you. Boots up! Ah, uh, dude, come on. Like yep, I just fucked it. My best character. Oh well, mother always did say I should try teaching others. Teaching others. There it is. Boomerang classic outfit. All right, let's do um that Are one. Ready for a surgical strike across dimensions. I'm gonna go see what Riddler's challenge is all about. I think that's the only other one, right? Yeah, that's that's really tough, and it's it's really hard to steer that umbrella. It's even hard as. As um, that shot. Wait, so that knock him dead. Oh, I was just flying next to it. Okay. Who's dropping out? Oh, I forgot to use LB to do the cooldown. Yeah, I could have done that.
Going up. This is the poison sniper. Dangerous cargo. Just what we're looking for. A Dr. Maru poison sniper, even though it looks like a an assault rifle. <laughs> Scoop! That's pretty dope. Ah, running too hot. Okay, so here's our Riddler thing. Okay. You managed to find another challenge, and you're going to attend it right now. Taking it vertical. Oh, dude, let me just restart. It it didn't pick up that I was like flying vertically through it. I will say I never so stupid. My. Where are we going now? Give me that speed. Suppressing fire in this This is to make a recession. What? Oh, fuck you. Stupid game. Oh my god. Some stupid fucking thing out of nowhere. Of course. Are you kidding me? I'll be conducting a stupid investigation into your qualified success. That's so dumb. You like have to do that one once. There's just no way to do it your first try. Like, just sit here and mess around with your head. You have to know the route. Let's do this. There it is. So you have to know the route. It's almost like you have to you have to mess it up. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we got the gold version of this. Which, I don't know, I, I like the red a little better. The gold's got some nice accents, though. The belt looks kind of cool with the gold buckle. But I, I think I like the red and black and gray. And then for Joker, I think we get something new. Okay, so we got... That. Okay, we got this green one. Oh, that one's not bad. I could sport that. It's not bad. Uh, ooh, Old Glory. Oh my god. Like Uncle Sam here. The hair, though. I don't know about the hair. Do the hair red, maybe. Or keep it green. Didn't throw it off that much. I don't know, let's see what that looks like. You nice. for a task force? It, it seems you might be better yeah, okay. going it alone, alone. He looks a little paler. Oof. That's not bad. Step out and accept your fate. The purple looks good though. I really like the purple. Look, the umbrella is like taking me up. I, I don't know. I believe I missed that counter. I can't put this game down, man. Playing as Joker. Why 
Why is it this fun? It's compelling the way they These folks like don't know it, but you're their last hope. Why is it don't this fun to play it. as Joker? So the the last thing I need is like Riddler trophies. I don't think they added any riddles, but and I have to go back to the main game. I don't think I've found all of the stuff in the main game. Complete a smash and grab mission. I thought I did one of those. Maybe I didn't. We could do that. We'll make that our last mission for the night because I'm. The enemy are I'm worried I could keep going. I don't want it to be 6 a.m. I got work in the morning. <laughs> I don't want to be like still hitting this game at 6 a.m. Be like, where's the time go? Golly gee, guys. I think the data we want is in their pockets. Let's get this reward I mean, it's an way. alternate yeah, universe Joker, down. so I mean, it doesn't have to be Mark Hamill, right? I know that's the part that everybody on the internet's going nuts about. Won't allow anyone else to be these characters. It's always got to be Evan Conroy and Mark Hamill. They're the best, no doubt, but. You know, we have to we have to learn to uh, allow other actors to be in these roles. Remove the head, destroy the brain, right? Don't destroy Clear the area. I'm gonna see what it takes to to get this uh, poison. I want to get this poison bar full. I want to know how much. Jumped up and fused enemies in the AO. It'll be a tough one. Where are they? They're on the roof. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this game. I am enjoying this. I am hooked. I've been playing this for five and a half hours. I just need the shield harvest. Yeah, Joker is actually a win. He's actually really fun to play as. And it completely, I feel like it completely it makes the game even more exciting. I'm more hyped to grind through some of the monotonous missions that I thought were monotonous. Now this is rocket science. It's just more exciting when you have a new character to grind on. Joker, and I mean, I've already got him to max level, so I mean, that's not an issue. Shall we? I knew it. I knew I was going to get hit by that. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I don't feel like all the games, like, if 
you don't like The Last of Us, I think that's a you problem. Because those games are critically acclaimed. But there are a lot of times where I disagree with the critics on games. And sometimes that's a badge of honor. Sometimes it's a good thing. To not be so close-minded. Do I think this game's perfect? No. But... I do see ways it can improve and ways that it's actually really great and fun. Yeah, you can play old missions. You can go back to the Bat Museum as Joker and he'll comment on things. So, I mean, they've recorded dialogue for this character. This is the first mission I've really struggled on. I don't know why this mission's so hard. left an annoying sniper a B in story cutscenes he has his own I'm not sure if he can be in like pre-existing main story cutscenes I haven't I haven't done that but he does have his own cutscenes where we fight brainy or not after the brainiac fight where he meets Waller and the team which that is included on this live stream so you can just go back see that scene it's pretty dope damn i thought i had him he's a pesky little sniper Give me a second. there it is and i don't know about that respect batman the game is called kill the justice league if you're upset that they're killing the justice league that's a you problem. You sign up for the game. You bought the game because it has, you know, it's DC or whatever, but, I mean, it's literally telling you in the title it's gonna happen, so. I don't think there's anything with toxic masculinity. There's nothing, nothing about Batman's character that's toxic. He's very masculine. I don't think it's a popular way to do the story. I don't think it was a great idea. So you but finally shaped up. It is what it is. Big props. It's about how he died. Is there a way that you would prefer that he died? Because of the four characters that could take him down, Harley Quinn, albeit probably the least skilled of the bunch, right? Um, she's the one that has the most uh reason to right nemesis and it's it's poetic in a way too he killed the joker who gets revenge his girlfriend i doubt she was bitter about that in a way i mean she obviously mourned for a while but he was a bad abusive you know toxic boyfriend he was bad he was not good for her so in a way he did her a favor i don't know but i don't i don't see a way that and she gave a really good speech before it happened i don't know if you actually watched it but in full context of all the events it makes sense and batman's even the first to tell you that he's the first to tell everyone he's like we have to die the only way that, you know, you can stop Brainiac is to kill us. Because if you can't defeat the Justice League, there's no way you're taking out Brainiac. And Brainiac has them completely under his control. Now, I do think Brainiac has them as clones. I think those are clones. So I don't think it's the real Justice League. So everyone's whining and crying, but they've never read a comic book. Because comic books... Things happen. Things can be retconned. Characters die. They come back from the dead, right? Nothing's nothing's definitive and, and finite, right, in the world of comics. 
but I think everybody's just fake comic book nerds. You know, they watch the Marvel movies, and then they think they know everything about comics, or they watch a couple DC movies, but if you read comic books, there's literally the death of Superman. There's death in the family of Batman, where Robin dies, right? What happens? Robin comes back later. What happens with Superman? He gets killed, and half the Justice League gets taken out by Doomsday. Yet, he still comes back. They did it. It disturbed people for a while. They're like, oh my god, are there no more Superman comics? It's for shock value. So this game is all about shock value. Is it a good idea? Maybe. Maybe not necessarily. But there, I feel like at some point during this overarching story of this live service game, there has to be a, a moment where they come back. It would be very bad if they're just dead and, and that's the story. That would be kind of stupid. If he had snapped out of mind control somehow, as he also snapped out Joker and Scarecrow Toxin, and he had sacrificed himself, you think that would be better. But Batman isn't the guy to kill himself. As, as powerful of a hero as he is, as tragic as his life is, as depressed as he may be, I don't think it's in his character to kill himself. He would rather go down fighting than kill himself. He would rather put himself in a situation where he will lose the fight and die rather than put a, put a gun to his own head. I don't think he would do that. I think that would be very out of character for Batman. And that's just based on 85 years of comic books. It is Arkham Batman, sure, sure. And it's Rocksteady's character. They made the Arkham Batman. They are allowed to write him any way they please. And it's written by the same two guys that did Arkham City and Arkham Knight. So I don't get the I don't get the the complaints. I do think I agree with you in a way. I do think this game might end in a year. I would be really surprised. Things would really have to change uh drastically. Um for this game to outlast Avengers. They they definitely preempted they definitely preempted a lot of the mistakes that were made in Marvel's Avengers and in Anthem. They came prepared with an end game. It's a very repetitive end game and they have characters ready to go, right? They're probably working on them, but I mean in general, development progress seems to be good. Joker wasn't delayed to our knowledge. So he came out as needed. But there hasn't been any addition to the story, which I, I'm going to be a harsh critic on that and say that's not good. But here's what I think. People don't want to be challenged by stories that are tough, right? People don't want stories that put their heroes in tough situations. They don't like stories where their heroes die. They, they want their heroes to always win, always be perfect, never have any conflict, there was never a doubt that Batman was going to lose. He always wins. It's boring. If, if you live as old as I've lived, or more, you get bored of the same old, the good guy always wins at the end of a 30-minute comic book, TV show, whatever it is. It gets bland after a while. You want more from your storytelling. You want complexity. You want depth. You want challenge. You want fear. You want there to be stakes. You want your characters to be pushed, right? People got mad that Batman was pushed towards killing in Snyder's movies, right? Yeah, people people got mad about Infinity War. People were not happy about about waiting years on a cliffhanger. Some some people even waited until Endgame to watch Infinity War so they could watch him back to back. People are crazy, man. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have challenging media. But guess what? What do we all know about Infinity War? When our characters were killed, we knew they were coming back, right? We didn't know how, we didn't know why, but we knew they were coming back. Because it's the nature of comic book storytelling. It's, it's probably the nature of almost any storytelling, right? How many times has James Bond almost died or been captured, or they did... 
they did a fake out where it's like, oh my god, James Bond was in that cr plane crash. Oh, this is the worst movie ever. I'm walking out of the theater. Wait a few minutes. He's back on screen. What happens at the end of Superman Returns? Same thing. We think Superman sacrifices himself. He comes back. Batman versus Superman. They fight. Superman dies. What happens in Snyder's Justice League? comes back as it was foretold in the comics so i just see a bunch and this is my hottest hot take i just see a bunch of crybabies that can't handle complex storytelling they're not used to it and maybe it's because they've never read a comic a day in their life and never understood that and i get it you know it's not for everybody to dive that deep for some it's it's perfectly fine to just hit the video games or just hit the movies and it's like, that's fulfilling enough. I don't feel the need to start collecting figurines or, or reading comic books. Like, I don't want to, I'm not that child anymore and I'm, I'm a grown up, you know. I want to, I got other adult things to do, right? But surprisingly, there, there's some comic books that put you, Kingdom Come is about an aging Justice League. It's a tough story. It does, it's not a feel good thing. Same with Red Sun. Superman lands in the Ukraine. He becomes a communist version of Superman. Everything that Superman stands against, he becomes that. That was a hard read for a Superman fan. The Dark Knight Returns is a hard read for a Superman fan. Because you know Superman, to me, right? Superman could, he could do that and kill Batman. But why doesn't he? It's in his character to not kill people, right? He was raised in a certain way from a farmer in Kansas, right? He was, you know, he would he would very much disappoint his father if he if he had killed someone, especially someone like Batman, of over a good moral character. Even if he's a little jaded, a little cynical, a little crazy, right? Jaded by all the years of crime fighting, feeling like it's not doing anything, and that Superman poses this. This grave threat to the world. And he's the only one who could stop him. So Superman could do that. But because of comic book writing, we know if he dies, he's coming back. It's not a problem. Is it upsetting for Superman to be killed by someone that's so weak, that is only human, right? Even though Batman's really strong. He's the world's greatest detective. He has a plan for everything. So he has time to plan this out and to win the fight. Albeit barely. But I think in the comic he dies, but in the movie Superman dies. So it's a, it, they did a twist on us in the theaters. They pulled the death of Superman on us. So does it upset me? It, a little bit. It, a little bit. I like Batman. I like Superman. I like them both. Um... But when Batman kills Superman, did I lose my mind? Did I go crying? Did I call DC and tell him I'll never read a comic ever again because of what you did to my boy? No. Nah. I'm good. These devs have responsibility towards character that means so much to people. Not like in the Arkham games, he won one-sided. He had to struggle. Yeah. And I think he's going to struggle in this game too. Because I don't think he's dead. Did you miss the part about he's probably not dead? There's there's even calendars that you find in the game that give you hints based on the, the numerical dates. It gives you letters, and it says he will return, and the last symbol on the last calendar is a bat symbol. Who do you think's going to return? So everybody's going to feel real dumb when he does return. All this stir... All this wham, wham, wham stuff. Yeah, I agree. He was one shot in the face by, by someone he used to. You just press Y and counterattack Harley and she's out. Or if it was a cutscene, he just, you know, she sneaks up behind him. Boom, knocks her out. The game might be a flop. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wait and see. It's not what gamers wanted. 
I think we wanted a Justice League game or a Superman game or any other hero to get a game. I think we expected a single player experience from uh, Rocksteady. I don't think a live service multiplayer game is popular, but I do think that if it's done right and the story is told properly over time, it can be done right. It could be really exciting. Like I said with Avengers, you could have a Thanos storyline be told in one season. Season 2, different story, Galactus, whatever. Season 3, the X-Men join, whatever. You could do the same thing here, you know? Maybe Season 1 is about Joker joining. Season 2, Batman returns and something else. Or maybe it's during that season where everything's all Arkham designed, you know? Yeah, I would I would expect any of those. He's playing with that toy. But what do you, you know, we got a Suicide Squad game, which I I said this earlier, I don't think anyone wants a Suicide Squad game. Is there anyone that was like, man, I hope they make one someday. I don't know. There's got to be someone that's a fan of the Suicide Squad. I'm not. But I, uh, they're growing on me. The characters are interesting. They're compelling. I've just never given them the proper chance. You know, I enjoyed watching them in Arrow. The movies are all right. Uh, this game does a pretty good job of, of making each character very interesting. I, I was worried that they would do a Green Arrow game, and I thought it might be too similar to Batman. And maybe they're just tired of making Batman games, you know? And Nightwing was really fun to play as in the Arkham games, but I, he would need some sort of overhaul to the way he plays to make it compelling and interesting. And maybe give him the bike, you know? Give him the bike. Let us roam Bloodhaven or something, not just Gotham. I don't know. Why? Why they had to connect with Arkham? Because they can. They made the Arkham series. That's what you do. If you create your own game or you write your own book, you can do whatever you want with those characters. Or if or if DC calls you and says, hey, um, yeah, we need you to make a story. Um, pick your universe. You want to write The Dark Knight Returns Part 4? Go for it. Um, we'll give you carte blanche. There you go. They they could do an Elseworld story, but they chose not to. They wanted to. I I think it's kind of interesting. I would have thought a, a another hero or a Justice League game would be the better way to open up the universe after Arkham Knight, because you're you're tired of making Batman games. You've already made them. You know you've told a, a full story. You know you have a character growth. You know, he's defeated a lot of his enemies. A lot of them are dead. <laughs> so there's not much to do with a lot of Batman's rogues gallery. So it's, you know, time to move it on to other characters. Or, or bring in the Justice League. I, I My crazy conspiracy theory with this game is that I think that Metropolis was made as part of a Superman game. I think this was a Superman game. And then I think WB Games, as they turned down several of their proposals over the years, I think WB turned them down and said, no, we want, we're want. we seeing what people are doing with live service games, you know, make a looter shooter, give us something like that, you know? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Galactus is like a female in uh, Marvel Rivals. I think they're just tired of making Batman games. I don't think they I don't think they said, "Oh man, I'm I'm tired of making Batman games. Let's kill him." You know? I'm I'm I doubt that was the motivation. There's some shock value in doing that, sure, but you know, maybe it's also and this is another theory, you know, if they really do want to kill him off and make it permanent, it's their Batman to end his story, right? 
Did anyone have a problem when they first beat Arkham Knight? And Batman blew up the mansion and he died? Of course, the real ending is that, you know, he lives and uses the fear toxin and he becomes Batman, like, full-time, right? He abandons the, the persona of Bruce Wayne. They could have ended it there, or they could have just straight-up killed him off. It's, or, or maybe they're killing him off here as a way to say, we don't want any other dev touching our Batman. He was our Batman. This was our story to tell. That, that could be true, too. But I think with all the clues that have been left and the, the way Brainiac operates, you know, he always has clones. He always He's a very crafty guy. He's more about collecting than killing. He does seem to collect. You know, he collects miniatures of the worlds. He conquers, you know, pulls from different universes. The Elseworlds are tied in here. So this Joker is an Elseworld Joker. I don't know. So they could have decided to do that. I think either way, a, a Rocksteady making a DC game is going to be exciting whether it's in the Arkham universe or not. Hey, but... Industrious they did make it. And it's, it's their universe to do their thing. Oh, we got a hit squad. Oh, boy. I mean, that's the important thing. If you've ever created something, you've ever written a song or a book or whatever, or written some poetry, you know, you learn that it's it's your baby. It's your precious thing to, to work with and... You know, other people may come up to you and say, Oh, your song sucks, or your, po your poetry is terrible, or I hate the way you ended it. But it's it's your design to do to do with as, as you please. You created it. Why? I mean, that's the answer. <laughs> we spit on your childhood. I, I doubt it. I really doubt that. That's. I don't think they're outright trying to disrespect the fans or, or spit in their faces. It it all comes down to my initial thesis, which is nothing is permanent in the world of comic books. And there are stories where heroes win and heroes lose. But, you know, and Stan Lee will tell you this. In good, in good writing, good writing, you always want to have tension. He always said, if you're going to make two of your iconic characters fight each other, you know, there's writer bias that comes in, right? Sometimes the writer has a bias. I really like Batman, so I'm gonna, Batman's going to win, right? But you always want to make it a close match. He said, if you make a fight between Wolverine and the Hulk, you, you want them to go back and forth and have a moment where it looks like Wolverine's winning and a moment where it looks like Hulk's winning. Even though Wolverine's this tiny little five-foot man, you know, you, you want to make it look like it's a big competition between the two, right? So it's all about good writing. It's all about pacing. And it's the same thing with heroes and villains. You want that play of, of sometimes the heroes completely destroy the enemy, other times... Oh, it's a hard-fought battle. Or maybe one time the heroes lose, and then they have to learn what is, what is Endgame all about. It's heroes recovering from defeat, and they had literally just given up. Iron Man was like, forget it. You know, there's no way we can beat Thanos. I just want to be a family man. I want to stay home and be a family man. And it's, it's about learning, you know, and eventually he learns to travel through time and, and get everybody back, but I mean... Had they not, you know, talked him into it, he wouldn't he wouldn't have done it. Arkham Batman did put him on the map, for sure. But there's ways they can continue. There 
there's still opportunities to make new DC games. I would personally rather them go back to single player. Um, I think that's where they're at their best. Because, I mean, if we look at this game, the story's really good. The narrative is really strong. It's what you expect from Rocksteady if you've played the Batman Arkham games. Like, even if you don't like the story, right? You can still look at the game and be like, oh, those cutscenes, you know, the way it flows, the way the fighting is, their, their care for animation and for dialogue. All the animations are really smooth and really fun, and they have a way of portraying the iconic characters with respect as they did with each member of the Bat family. Everyone had their own unique fighting style and their own look and their own animations, their own takedowns, even if some moves were borrowed from Batman. It's there. Yeah, Final Fantasy is great. But, you know, they play with their stuff too. They probably haven't... I, I can't think of Japanese... I don't play a lot of Japanese games, but... You know, beyond the obvious, but... You know, I don't play a lot of JRPGs, I'll put it that way. Um... So I don't, I don't know that they take big endings, big risks with their characters. I don't know that they do, you know, unusual things like killing off their characters. Maybe Resident Evil has a couple wild moments between characters that are kind of interesting that build tension. <laughs> being on flash that's exactly who boomerang is man he's he's not a nice guy he's a villain <laughs> he really hates the flash and and this is his one opportunity to beat him same with with deadshot now this evil version of green lantern was bringing up his daughter which is you know not something a real green lantern would do so we have to remember, these guys were unstoppable villains, right? But yeah, it's a low blow. It just feels like you have issue with, with how they died. Or how they were treated. But it's a bunch of villains. If it... If it was Superman killing Batman, there might be a respectful moment before he kills him. He'll be like, you were my friend, I loved you. And then, you know, he punches his face out. <laughs> but I mean, we, f we forget these guys are stone cold killers and villains. You know, he's <laughs> throughout the game, he's cutting off the Flash's thumb and, you know, boomerangs out there, you know, cutting off limbs of everybody, it seems. That seems to be a solution to everything. So, I mean, we for we forget because they are villains Run and they are theory. functioning as anti-heroes in the game. It's, it is easy to forget. And to know that if given the chance, yeah, they're going to do stupid, despicable... Disgusting things when they get the upper hand over their enemies. They don't they don't have that respect for Batman. Why would they? Right? Harley was probably uh, er, for Batman. I guess for Boomerang it's Flash, but Harley with Batman, her speech was all about him and and what he means. And she didn't want to have to do what she did, but you know, she knew a headshot was the way it had to be. You had to make sure he's dead, right? But in the end, they end up taking his body to Luther to, you know, figure out a way to kill Superman, so, yeah. One thing leads to another, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see how it all pans out. I, I hope within a year we get more storytelling. I know in a couple of weeks, uh, the second part of season one will drop. I'm hoping they give a story then because just giving us a character with one cutscene was really not fulfilling. Not the way to go on this. 
I need 13 more Riddler trophies. No riddles. Um. All right, we took out that hit squad. I actually dropped some really good gear. But yeah, the way Joker plays, uh, I'm actually really satisfied with the game. I think last time I played, I was actually not enjoying it. And I was not hopeful. And I'm still skeptical as to what the future of this game might deliver, if it does deliver anything. But you've got interesting characters. You've got a, a beautiful city of Metropolis full of lore and Easter eggs and interesting things to do and look at. But it all depends on what they do with it. And I, I think it's more fun to be involved in this city than it is to go around and do excursions into the... Uh, into the else worlds because it's just a bland post-apocalyptic setting like this is more interesting to... there's so many things to do and so many areas to explore here in this yeah wonder woman definitely went out she went out fighting man she even she didn't have the strength to, to kill superman you know because she respects clark that's why she made a kryptonite shield rather than a kryptonite sword. That that speaks to her character a lot. But in the end, that's probably what lost her the fight. Was she was not willing to kill. And that's that's actually why the Suicide Squad in this main story, that's why they're successful in their mission. Is because they were it, it's the craziest idea, but it's like, yeah, hardened criminals will kill people, especially if you put bombs in their head and force them to. Heroes wouldn't do that. And we're moving. So, in an evil Superman that's going to kill you, that's had his powers amplified by Brainiac, who's practically invincible at this point, and the only person that stands a chance of killing him is the person that's willing to break the rules. It's the same reason Superman won't kill Batman when they're fighting each other. It's because he won't break his rule. But Batman believes that he can, it's okay for him to break this rule because he believes Superman is a bigger threat to the world. You know, he is this alien. And what have we seen with, with aliens when they come into a world? Batman becomes motivated by the very, the very fear that he often uses as a weapon and fights against when he he fights against scarecrow you know he repels against fear this is what it is what if but now you got me thinking i'm onto something and and i felt like the squad could have intervened while while wonder woman was getting whooped by um superman they Somebody should have done something. I mean, Superman probably just would have destroyed us anyway. Like, he would have just walked over and just punched us into into goo. Um, but, I mean, I feel like something, a distraction or something could have been done. I know they were trying to get Waller up the steps and into the Hall of Justice. But, I mean, what would stop Superman from getting in there, you know? It was only brainiac you know okay, calling him back and him being weakened right? by the kryptonite i feel like that would have been the on. moment that that would have been a cool moment to have the boss fight it's a little early in the game because i feel like saving superman to the end was really good but i i think the superman fight could have been better if wonder woman was involved in it and then had some questions about TFX um and friendly you know maybe she dies during the fight it's a result yeah, of the no. fight but you fight alongside her or something like that. That would have been really Because it just felt weird just watching them duke it out. And it's like she hit him with the kryptonite. It's like he almost, you know, she almost won. But then she didn't realize that the kryptonite actually wasn't going to work. What's up, Gibbo? Um, I think we're wrapping up here, though. Um, we've done <laughs> six hours of this. Uh, unlocked the joker tonight got him fully leveled up um 
got a fairly interesting loadout. There's there's going to be a little bit of, of grinding to do uh, in terms of, you know, getting him just the right traversal mod, um, maybe the neck mod and uh, Lucky Charm could change at some point. I'm doing pretty well, Gibbo. How about you? But yeah, it's uh, it's been a long night. I don't know. I don't know if this game will be forgotten. Sometimes even bad games can be remembered. <laughs> it just depends what they do with the story. It could be this incredible moment where Batman comes back and saves the day and he helps us take out the remaining Brainiacs. You know, he works with the Suicide Squad or he comes back with a way to save the Justice League and then we get to play as the Justice League at the end of the game, you know? You never know. You don't know what's going to happen. But the one thing I've echoed it over and over, everyone's crying about the Justice League being dead. It's in the name of the game. It's expected. But as it is in the world of comic books, nothing is permanent. No death is permanent. You think people are dead. They're not really dead. They, it's either a fake out or, you know, you notice what happened every time... We, we killed the characters, they were instantly beamed away. Their bodies were removed from the scene, right? So not all those deaths are confirmed. And even so, I'm my theory is that those are clones. Appreciate that, Gibbo. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the content. Um, I, I have played all the Arkham games. Suicide Squad, I'm kind of middle of the road on. I enjoyed the story, but the... End game, various levels of fun. I think it was more fun tonight than ever. But if there's lag when you're doing multiplayer, it's not great. Um, I don't do follow for follow. I'm sorry if that upsets you. But, you know, I, I get to know people or I check out their content. I follow. I don't just like, hey, I'll follow you if you follow me. It's It's an old scam in the streaming business and it's not it, it doesn't help anyone grow it's not beneficial to anyone just make good content don't go self-promote on other people's channels they don't tend to like it it's usually with people that we know that we don't mind you know saying like oh hey he's really cool go follow this guy but in some cases it just comes across as like you know as like Oh, hey, well, my show's better, you know. Come over here and check out what I'm doing, you know. Not Justice League, only Batman? I don't know what you mean. So, I don't... I don't think any of them are dead, and... Remember the Easter egg in the game, all the calendars that point to the fact that Batman will return. It, it couldn't be spelled out more profoundly, other than just having knowledge of comic books, comic book movies, comic book games, comic book TV shows. It happens all over the place. The amount of times that these heroes have died, the amount of times that Iconic characters attached to the heroes. Their sidekicks have died. Robin dies all the time. They're never permanently dead. It's just not something that comic books do. Not in the best interest. Just gotta see where the story goes. So, I'm gonna leave it right there. I wanna thank you all for tuning in. Uh, hope you enjoyed checking out uh, the Joker tonight. First impressions are... He plays really well. Let's I think his skill tree is pretty good. The There's a couple Joker. things I might tweak here and there. Um, some perks are like unnecessary, as I already highlighted earlier. Um, the Green Lantern boss fight was better, but I don't think reskinning or recalibrating previous boss fights is the way to go. I think. At some point, you need to add new villains or new enemies or new mechanics to the game. Um, the, the missions are all right. They're, they're less repetitive. They're less repetitive and they're less monotonous when you have a new character to play them. 
it's a little repetitive when you've been probably playing for a long time in previous content and then you get to season one you realize it's kind of more of the same but with a a scarecrow or or a scarecrow and a joker you know reskin of the environment i don't know about the not voiced by kevin um they might have recorded enough lines to to wrap something up they might have lines that he's recorded wb could even have a a vault of of stuff i don't know they could do something with that or maybe he says nothing maybe he shows up and shows he's alive and doesn't say anything you know maybe we see him fly over metropolis or something you never know I think there will be future Batman games and future Batman media that will not be voiced by him. There's already stuff that's out there, of course. Um, I I said this even before he passed was like, you know, I said there's got to be a time where we allow other people to be these characters because these guys are not going to be around forever. Mark Hamill can't be Luke Skywalker forever. At some point... You got to recast it. You know, Harrison Ford can't be Indiana Jones forever. He's probably the best to ever be that character, and it won't be the same. But someday, you know, it might be 50 years or 100 years from now when we're all dead, someone's going to, you know, bring back Indiana Jones with a new actor, you know? Someone else is going to be playing Batman. Maybe the Arkham series continues 100 years from now. Some Somebody that's still working at Rocksteady picks it up. And, and keeps it going. They say, oh, we're going to remaster him again. You know? I don't know. It's... They could have recorded a lot of stuff before he passed. They could have already completed what they have planned for the character in this game. If they didn't, they could probably pull audio files from the archive. That's what they do for Star Wars. That's what they do for all these other movies where we've had iconic actors pass and, and we they still need their voice or their likeness to say or do something. They use previous older archival footage. They did it for Harrison Ford when they made him young in Indiana Jones. They looked at a lot of his old footage from filming those movies, a lot of cuts that they didn't use, right? Stuff that was on the cutting room floor or just... Various things that they did, and they made something out of it. So it wouldn't be the first time, it won't be the last. They might have to have permission from the family, uh, the Conroy family, to do that. From the estate to move forward. Or it's possible they already have that and they can do it. I don't know. But I do think at some point, yeah, things will have to have to move on. Um, so once again, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this stream. Take care, be safe, have a good night. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and uh, hang around because we'll have some more stuff coming soon. Take care, bye.